Welcome to Upturned Table. I'm Jeremy. And today we are playing a mystery from The Wicked Secret uh, for Veasen uh, by Free League. And with me today, no surprise, are Matt and Will. Hey, guys. Hello. Hello, hello. It's been a few days of recovery and uh, uh, yeah, just getting back to things in Uppsala, so at uh, Castle Gillenkrutz. So the uh, a couple of things in your absence. So uh, Frisk, Frisk mentions that um, he's had to uh, answer the door a few times to a reporter, um, and she's left a name card. Uh, so the name Astrid Eriksson, a reporter for the Uppsala New Times, uh, has been uh, visiting the castle, uh, requesting to speak with uh, Master Axel. That's the that's something that uh, yeah Frisk has been has been dealing with, and he uh, says you should probably tend to and um oh does uh, he <laughs> and the, <laughs> on the uh, the day um uh on this uh this uh, afternoon the mail uh brings you a couple of letters um one is uh specifically for nils is addressed to nils personally and uh, another one is addressed uh, uh addressed to both uh both axel and uh nils from uh, from uh, Father uh, Father Niles uh, Carhead, who uh, you met at the uh, the Witch Cat Inn. Oh yes. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. There's an NPC named Niles. Uh, Niels, Niel, uh, N I E L S. Yeah, yeah. And Niels, Father. Car I'll just call him Father Carhead. Yeah. Oh, that's just going to be <laughs> another. Oh no! <laughs> now I'm going to get called that. <laughs> yeah, and, and I apologize. I didn't realize until I started trying to write that my hands covered in cuts are not working. Oh. I'm gonna go grab some band aids. I'll be gone for like twenty seconds. I'll be right oh, back. okay. Okay. <laughs> sure. Well, I can tell you what Nils is gonna do. What? What's Nils up to? Either start some tea, steam, uh, okay. steam open those letters and read them in the kitchen. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. So the the one let's address the one uh, or let's uh, yeah take a look at the one addressed to you uh, first. Uh, well, actually, no, the the one addressed to both of you um, because maybe you want to get a, a, ahead of that. Um, mm -hmm. It is uh, so it's from uh, uh, Father Carhead that uh, Clarhead that you met at uh, the uh, Witch Cat Inn uh, previously, and it's a letter of introduction. Um, he uh, is asking you uh, to meet with. Uh, uh, to meet with a uh, a young priest uh, who is uh, in in a, a desperate situation, he um, the the young priest knows of the uh, uh, the society, the kind of reforming of the society, and uh, requests uh, to meet with you over an urgent uh, but but uh, private matter. And okay. uh, and he, then the yes, is he like I'm, a, I'm back? Is he like okay. a church or something or? Oh yeah, um, no. He he requests to to uh, to come to the uh, the the castle. Yeah, he he would like to meet to come to the castle and speak with you uh, confidentially. Okay. okay. Yes. So that's yeah. So a letter of introduction, um, from uh, Father Clarhead and uh, the other the other thing that you open that's that's uh, addressed personally to you um, when you open the. Um, Open the letter. The page on the inside is, is folded, and on the outside of the page, you see a um, a symbol. Uh -oh. The symbol is a, a valknut. A valknut is like that uh, interlocked triangular. The the, the oh, three yeah. triangles uh -huh. interlocked. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, and uh, uh, so that that symbol is on the the outside, and you recognize that as a um, a symbol that was used for uh, uh, burial, like it represents burial and dead warriors, and. Uh, uh, when you unfold the page, inside is another little uh, bundle of kind of aged uh, yellowed paperwork, and it is uh, the military ID of your original identity. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know uh, if you're in the kitchen. So yeah, so Axel is yes. not present. Yes, yes. Mill like clutches it to his chest <laughs> and immediately looks around. Okay. <laughs> make sure there's no one in, in here. Oh yes. no! Does it have any note or anything? Or just yeah, there's no, there's not. Yeah, there's nothing. Uh, nothing aside from the symbol. So the the Valknut and uh, and that that ID that uh, the uh, an identity and a military ID. Okay. Um, <laughs> Nils takes a moment. Mm -hmm. 
shoves it into his extra interior pocket that's for the really important stuff. Yeah, okay. And then prepares a t- tray for the tea, puts the other letter just without the envelope on it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I assume goes to the library to find uh, At this point, probably the occult library because we have one of those. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Right. Yes, yeah, the occult <laughs> library. <laughs> the library you don't approve of. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Yeah. And so, yeah, the uh, the letter is just a, a brief letter, um, and, and uh, uh, kind of a- asking a favor. Uh, uh, Father uh, Clarehead uh, said, and I don't know if you you missed this. Uh, Will I just, just missed the name of the priest? What's the young oh. priest's name? Oh yeah, the oh the young priest's name. That's a that's a good question. Uh, the young priest is um, uh, Oscar Udgren. Oscar Udgren uh, is a uh, a priest that uh, is working uh, in a, uh, a, a a coastal kind of fishing town. Uh, by the name of Falbaka. So he's a, a priest in Falbaka and uh, uh, requests to meet with you. Uh, he's, he became aware, he studied in Uppsala for a short time and, and knows of uh, the society and uh, was aware that uh, it's been resurrected uh, by the hand of uh, Axel as so a requested to, to meet with uh, Master Axel over uh, on a, uh, concerning a, a private uh, matter of... Uh, uh, very uh yeah a very urgent uh private matter so normally uh, Nils would try to read or sum that up but mm-hmm. he's a little off his game at the moment <laughs> oh yes okay okay so he literally just plunks down the tray and right oh yeah sure. and they're actually, staring at the wall <laughs> actually why doesn't uh why doesn't nils roll a, a fear test that's actually good this isn't this isn't no! specific yeah. specifically uh supernatural but this would uh yeah you, you had a pretty big reaction so why don't we take a fear one test all right i guess <laughs> my this is where my brave comes into play yes yes um and i'm i'm there oh i wasn't there at the time oh there you go yeah it's paying off uh, all right already that bravery bravery helps well, well nonetheless he's still unnerved <laughs> yes <laughs> yes just not not enough to uh effect yeah um, I, I imagine that it takes axel like 15 minutes to realize that he dropped it off and hasn't read it so i'm probably been just reading a book assuming that he was going to interrupt oh. me at some point with mm-hmm. it and then finally i'm like oh i guess i'll have to pay attention to what's going on oh we have a letter what is this about and so this is the the priest so this is a it's the old oh, priest introducing the young priest I oh my god an exorcism okay cool <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and these are proper, yeah, and I, I don't mean this in real world terms, but in Nils' opinion, these are proper Catholic priests, right? Not, um, the, not those damn yeah. Orthodox priests. Yeah, no, no, yeah, this, yeah, this isn't uh, Russian Orthodox. Yeah, these are they're listed as uh, evangelist in the uh, the text. So yeah, I, I maybe they're probably Protestant. Yeah, I don't know if they're. Oh. But N- Nils isn't really religious, right? Just in your mind, that's the correct. No, like, no, it's way proper. more. It's way more about the fact that Nils used to kill Russians. <laughs> yes, yeah, okay, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. yeah. So not Orthodox, yeah, not Russian Orthodox. Yeah, they just list the, uh, yeah, just list them as uh, evangel uh, evangelists. Yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. So, yeah, Nils will just sort of stand there, waiting for you to absorb it, and then. Once it seems like you do, uh, he'll offer to uh, send a message, if you like, of invitation. Uh, yes, we have no cases going on right now. And I think there was a reporter that's been asking, too. We might as well. Uh, sir, <laughs> forgive me, but reporters are sort of the leeches on the bum of society, in my humble opinion. Uh, are you sure? Well, oh, oh. yeah. Did we lose Matt? Did yeah, are you still there? I muted because oh. I'm blowing my nose. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, but I do believe, for me at least, the main point of the society is to bring this knowledge back to the forefront. Anything that could potentially legitimize it mm. feels like it's worth the test. And we've already made a name here. People already know of us. Uh, maybe I should do a little research on her and see if she's. Oh, there you go. 
someone who uh, is one for causing controversy. Uh, That's good. Okay. I could, I could uh, perhaps plan a dinner and we could have them both here at the same time and judge them in a public venue. Well, I feel like the good father was seeking for um, not to be known that he yeah, was coming. Yeah. I don't know if. Oh, really? I missed that part. Yeah. yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't know if inviting a reporter at the same time would be good. <laughs> right. So, right. Yeah. Might make him a little, yeah, a little shy. <laughs> so, if you wish, I suppose you're always wanting to set stuff up. We could entertain. We could invite a few others and have backup to deal with this reporter. Perhaps some of the uh, functionaries at the university and local. Olas. We should have Olas come. Mm -hmm. So your detective friend, maybe. Yes. Yeah. And your cousin has relocated. uh, Yeah. Has since. uh, Oh, I guess that, that, yeah. If we're talking about a few days, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be relocating. So maybe not, not in a timely manner. Yeah, you've made that happen though. Yeah, you've you've. Uh, they'll be. I think they may be here them. with us. I don't know. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> that's right. If you force them to, yeah, yeah, that's right. So should I arrange a dinner for this evening and then re- send a letter of invitation for a separate day to the priest? That sounds wonderful. I'll start working on my dissertation for this reporter. Very good. Oh, I I start pulling out books and making notes of local history stuff that I want to try to impress her with and talk to her about. All right. And Nils uh, is going to use that as cover for leaving and finding Frisk. Okay. In which point he's going to interrogate Frisk about when these letters came, who left them. Did he notice anything suspicious? That kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. um, I'll got, uh, said that they just it, it just arrived uh there there wasn't the the letter that you received uh did not have postage on it so it, it was it was placed in the you know, placed in the post somehow um not through the regular mail but it was in there when he fetched the mail in the afternoon but nothing unusual okay not satisfied with that he's going to question the the boy oh okay well, actually the two boys now Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. You have two, two boys. So do you want to, um, yeah, if you want to do something a little more severe, you could roll, um, maybe observation or, uh, investigation to, uh, uh well, that was sort of part two it was okay. going to be going out to get, uh, food for the meal and to post the letter back to the priest. Oh, okay. At which point I was going to try to snoop around and see if I see anything unusual in the surrounding area. Okay. All right. But yeah, I would like to talk to Axel and, uh, Oh, what's all got nephew's name. I made oh, it up I, and I already forgot. I, yeah. Just set it up and, Young uh, what? Uh, Leo, Leo Frisk. Yeah. Yeah. Leo Frisk. Okay. Yeah. Leo is the caretaker. Yeah. And Leo Anders. and Anders. Yes. Okay. All right. I imagine right. I'll catch them both outside somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're both working, working on the the grounds and the stables. Yeah, so yeah, Leo is uh, tending to the grounds and the um, it's it's very small, but you you have noticed um, a little bit of improvement of the since uh, since employing uh, both Algut and Leo, and now Anders the. Uh, uh, grounds are looking a little, little more under control, not so overrun, and the house itself uh, is, uh, yeah, slightly improved. And in the in the the, the, the um, in the brightness of daylight, you still see, yeah, that it uh, it looks a lot more uh, uh, rotten. The wood itself, yeah, just, uh, look looks <laughs> looks a little worse uh, uh, for for its age. Yeah, the uh, the uh, uh, the structure itself is still. Uh, looking dilapidated, but there there seems to be some effort um, effort to fight this fight this state. Um, 
Yes. Okay. So you want to question the two boys? Do you want to do? Uh, do you want to roll for something? You're just sure. kind of. Uh, hey, okay. yeah. If you'll let me roll, I'll roll. Sure. Sure. Uh, Would this be investigation? Yeah, it could be. Yeah, investigation or, or yeah, I, yeah. I guess investigation because you're not really like you know suspecting their motives or anything. So, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm not good at that, but we'll give it a shot. <laughs> go button, go. Here come my big two dice. That's a no. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so yeah, both of the boys uh, said they they didn't notice uh, anything unusual. Um, you know, there there'd been uh, the random you know person uh, walking in front of the uh, the gates in front of the castle, but they didn't see any anybody suspicious, and uh, uh, not anything uh, related to the uh, the post. No one had uh, they hadn't seen anyone go near the post, so it was done covertly. And they oh, and they're also curious. So, so why, wh- uh, what, what are you uh, looking for? Why are you so worried about uh, today's mail? <laughs> Both of the boys uh, are uh, are a little worried that uh, they're being I'll, asked. I'll, uh, I'll I'll pat them both on the shoulder and like, don't worry about it, lads. Just if you see any suspicious people loitering about the grounds or nearby, please let me know immediately. Ah, uh, of course we will. Uh, we'll, we'll stay extra vigilant, uh, sir. Thank you. All right. Then Nils is going to go do his favorite thing. He's going to go buy food. Oh, all right. It's shopping We're having time. dinner. Yay. <laughs> no one's trying to kill us. <laughs> nice. Okay. So uh, for dinner for this evening, are you planning the... Uh, Kind of the dinner party for yeah yeah for this day. okay all right I mean if we have enough time if we have to do it the next day I guess that's oh yeah no there's pl- yeah there's plenty of time yeah we we can we don't have to work things out yet too super logistically so yeah yeah there's plenty of time to inform everyone so have yeah some people yeah is there a I don't know what that would be under but I kind of want to use Axel Station. And the fact that we have a giant castle in the middle of this town is like the juice to get some fairly important people to come if possible. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. But, yeah, so I, I think I'm literally spending the time from when we said we were going to do this. Now I'm assuming mm-hmm. that's going to be because I don't realize he's going to throw a party. Oh, so okay. I, I think I'm literally like trying to write a paper. I want to do basically I'm going to. I, I want to do a pitch and a speech. I don't know what it is, but I'm basically trying to pitch the whole like, you know, like Fast and real. We have research. This we're bringing back to society, but it's new and improved. You know, like basically, I'm I'm coming up with this whole like I'm going to stand up and do this whole speech thing. I think for her that I think uh-huh. she's going to put in the paper. And of course, now there's going to be like 500 <laughs> people there and it's <laughs> right. a costume ball somehow. But still, so. no, no, I'm not. It's not a ball. It's, it's a you know, a, it's a quiet e- evening of intellectuals, and that's a perfect place for you to make your pitch. Nice. Yeah. So, um, yeah, basically there's, there's not a lot of, um, they don't go into any detail on um, the university, just that, you know, there's a botanical garden, there's a hospital, uh, connected to the university. Um, and there's also, and you also know of, uh, you, and you might want to be careful, um, a, a student movement at the university called the junta. Oh, so as that was at the uh, end of the uh, 18th century, it's a, a political protest movement. Um, they're more, uh, uh, they're, um, you know, against uh, restrictions of freedom of the press and other civil liberties, but they're also connected to um, uh, connected to groups fighting for our Norwegian independence and uh, uh, are <laughs> paid by Danish spies. So you know of this. This is a known thing uh, in the town. So yeah, uh, yeah. Be careful. Be careful with your your choices, just in case <laughs> you invite radicals. Yeah, no, that that'd be great. You should invite a few radicals. It'd be great. <laughs> Yeah, do I have, uh, let's see, what would that fall under if I want to, like, kind of know the bigger picture and, like, who might be sympathetic to those oh, people? Because sure. Nils is, like, not into that at all. He's, <laughs> he's very old school. 
Yeah, probably learning. Yeah, a, le- a learning role. Oh, learning, huh? <laughs> if you want to. Uh, yeah, and you can also, if you want to go asking around the university, you know, to get a better idea. Um, You're really you hoping it? it was forced, right? You could just go out and start pushing kids down. <laughs> I, 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 wanna, I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Actually, I will personally go to invite, what's the private detective name? Olas? Yeah. Olas. Yeah, Olas. I will okay. personally go, I'll go to the bread shop, get my bread, and I'll personally go invite Olas to the dinner. Mm-hmm. And I'll pump him for information mm-hmm. there you on, go. on who I can, you know, who are suitable upper crust intellectuals from the university that might be appropriate to be at our dinner. And none of those Bolshevists. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Excellent. Good idea. All right. All right. So you have your bread yet. Yeah, so you, you can find uh, uh, Olas at his office. Excellent. So not, and not, yeah, not too far from the castle. <clears throat> and so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's good to see you, uh, Niels. Uh, how is uh, Master uh, Axel doing? He's well. He's busy in his books, of course, and... Uh... He's planning a uh, lovely get together of friends and intellectual types this evening. He's totally planning that. He's <laughs> totally uh, <laughs> planning that. And uh, we'd like you to to be there. Ah, very good. I am, of course, available. <laughs> <laughs> However, I I was wondering if I could trouble you for a little assistance. Um, we would like some of the people of quality at the university to attend. But I understand there's a bit of a a sort of liberal left-wing streak of 'er ne'er-do-wells at the university, and I want to make sure I don't invite anyone sympathetic to their cause. Uh, I understand, yes. uh, Some of the students' uh, student body has been infiltrated by... uh, uh, Danish money uh, backing uh, Norwegian causes. So all of this is, of course, very disruptive. So here, let me. Uh, so from from what I know, uh, any of the uh, the deans or older established uh, established academics at the university will be safe. I would be careful of uh, new newer and younger um, associate professors or anyone that's uh, come come. From uh, outside of uh, outside of Sweden, especially. Excellent. And uh, yes, so let let me put together a list, and uh, I can uh, uh, have this have this sent to you. Excellent. Thank you very much. War. And uh, you- so I'll see you this evening then. Very good. And of course, you are welcome to bring a plus one. I believe they say. <laughs> very good. Yes. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Olas will prepare a list, and so, yeah, the um, uh, and what what shows up at the uh, what's delivered to the house is a uh, basically a list of all the uh, uh, the major uh, academic departments that have the most influence at Uppsala University, and possibly uh, and also so with and you notice uh, Olas's list has a little bit of a uh, theological bent. There's a lot of. Uh, uh, religious studies and uh, uh, people in the departments that, uh, okay. uh, yeah. So he uh, he appears to be showing a little bit of his uh, <laughs> his bias <laughs> towards what he would like the society to be. Um, ah, okay. yes, yeah. So the head head of the uh, theology department and some uh, supporting uh, professors, and uh, yes, well, uh, I'll try to maneuver his list so I get like maybe half a dozen people mm-hmm. assuming okay. they'll bring somebody with them and all right if possible split it so it's only half religious studies and maybe <laughs> sure. maybe we get some historians and ec- economists in there or something all right nice and i'll okay. send out very nice little invitations and then i think i'm gonna make so. a flaming aspic for dessert Oh, <laughs> all right. Excellent. Well, that will guarantee people uh, respond. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. So, so all of that goes off uh, without a hitch. Um, yeah. You don't see. Uh, uh, yeah, so, no, so nothing else comes up. You, you, you're not uh, contacted 
Uh, and but you do send a uh, an invitation to the reporter. Yes. Okay. All right. I, I hope you eventually send that. That was the whole point for <laughs> <laughs> Axel's one of all this. Yeah. Reluctantly, I do invite the reporter. <laughs> okay. I think I um, failed to note plus one on hers. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh, and then if there's time between doing all that busy work mm-hmm. and actually preparing a meal for a bunch of people, I am going to sort of scour the block for that symbol and oh, okay. and or shysters. I don't know how to explain it. You know, <laughs> you're right. Just anybody that kind of stands out, or yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So you notice. Um, uh, just just in your travel from the university into the uh, and food shopping and to the detective's office there there are a, a few uh dark suited uh individuals that don't appear to that, that seem to be a little bit out of place um you, you haven't really uh yeah noticed them before and um they they're trying to make themselves uh uh not they're, they're not they're trying to be as unnoticed as possible but they do stand out they're not they're not dressed typically like uh they're doing a terrible um, job of it yes, you're right <laughs> so they're trying not to stand up but they are obviously uh outsiders but um and you you so you've seen a few but they um uh if you kind of uh we, after you pass someone and you turn back they're not there so they're very aware of uh people noticing them okay that when I finally come back to report our guest list to Axel, I am going to tell him about that. Oh, okay. All right. I was actually writing notes simultaneously. So what did you just see that you're telling me about? Sir, sir, um, here's our list. Uh, I think you'll be quite satisfied with the guest list. Uh, it's is a lot of 15 people. How many people is this? Well, depending on plus ones, of course, it's probably 12 to 16 people, something like that. Um, <laughs> and, uh, oh, I am going to do an orange and cinnamon flaming aspic for dessert. I oh, I love those. Bit. That'd yeah. be great. Yeah. Um, there were uh, men in, you said suits, right, Jeremy? Yes, yes. Whilst I was running my errands, sir, I noticed some rather suspicious fellows in dark suits about town. And I got the strange feeling that when I... When they knew that I knew that they were there, they would disappear. Was did you notice any insignia, uh, national flag, or languages being spoken? I don't think I did. Correct. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, you, you actually, actually, you there was uh, you were close enough to one. That you saw um, on a dark suit, embroidered in uh, in uh, black fabric, so very uh, difficult to notice. But your the, your training, <laughs> your military training, mm-hmm. uh, was, was uh, made you a little bit extra aware. You did see a uh, a triskelet uh, embroidered on uh, uh, one of the suits. Uh, so that is the um, uh, the three horn, the three kind of spirals, the three connected spirals that are known as the, the horns of Odin. Um, so instead of the triangles, it was the spirals. Yes, yes, yeah. These these were these were three spirals. Okay. Yeah, and they, uh, they did yes. seem to bear the Triskelet symbol on their clothing. Oh. And so, um, uh, we haven't. They had, we had we a haven't, we, <laughs> Yes, right. Um, so, uh, what, uh, hearing this, so uh, we haven't fleshed this out, but. Uh, uh, I will make this uh, connection. Uh, Axel knows that symbol uh, is uh, connected to the uh, the cult that uh, ah. yeah that you are indebted to. Oh, when I see that, I don't I don't think that has anything to do with us. We should be fine. Do I believe him? <laughs> <laughs> I've known him all his life. Do I believe right. him? <laughs> Yeah, I think you could oh. probably. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I pro- probably not. I don't think so. I don't think I'm usually putting on airs with you. So I think my like, I think I change in like attitude about it. Whereas mm-hmm. I go into my like when I'm you know like when I was talking to my uncle and the priest, how I'm like totally like doing what I think their thing is. Like I basically do that. I go into like, no, everything's fine. It's, 
blah, 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 and I kind of ramble on about stuff and have a completely different air about me. So, no, yeah, I, I assume that you know something's up. Mm. Well, sir, I you you know best, of course, but I think we should be cautious. Yes, I'm sure as long as we stay here in the house, no one will bother us. <laughs> This house. Hmm. You're right, castle. I should have said. <laughs> uh, I'll be in the kitchen, sir. Please let me know if you need anything. Maybe some sherry. Of course. <laughs> Excellent. Or whatever the equivalent is. I don't know if sherry's the right. Uh, for the time and place right yeah <laughs> yeah the the reference the alcohol references that they've made recently is yeah is beer and uh aquavit so aquavit's kind of like a like a vodka like a uh, herbal infused vodka or, or yeah herb infused vodka it's definitely imported sherry which seems like that'd be appropriate mm -hmm. right right yeah that's true and of someone of someone that is now officially rich i think yeah yeah you could afford <laughs> yeah. the good stuff <laughs> Perhaps a nice amontillado. <laughs> hey, you know what I like. I'm sure whatever you bring will be wonderful. Mm. I'll bring him back a port just to kind of fuck with him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Okay. So should we uh, proceed? Uh, unless you want to, you know, go through setting the table and everything, we can proceed to the <laughs> the, the dinner. <laughs> no, there will definitely be one large roast beast and uh, some amazing sides. And like I said, we're, we will be finishing with a flaming orange and cinnamon aspic. Excellent. <laughs> how how, how right. do you seat me and the, um, and the reporter? Ah, oh, yeah, there you go. I seat you at the head of the table, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yes. Flanked by the, the highest ranking person from the religious studies branch of the university mm -hmm. and your detective friend. And okay. then I slowly moved down the university track and there, and anybody <laughs> they brought, brought with them. Uh -huh. And the reporter is at the other end, <laughs> but there's not a chair on the end. So she's at the other end, like on the left. <laughs> so she has to kind of lean in to see you. I see. Nice. Excellent. You can talk to her when it's time for coffee. Oh, uh, what do you call it? Like whiskey and cigars or something. Mm. And so does Asko, uh, Axel make his, uh, does Axel make his, uh, his speech uh, uh, just after dinner or before, uh, before meal, the I, meal is served? I think I would, I think for me, it's, it's the whole point. So I think it's like mm -hmm. well, basically when everyone's there, it's before we eat. I okay. do the whole speech thing. Okay. And you do see yeah. the re reporter taking notes. Um, she's, uh, yeah, she's paying, paying attention. And especially since now that I see that he invited so many people and I assume that you tell me who they are, correct? Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah. So yeah. I, I, I think the, the, the pitch of the speech is basically now that we have all these people and this reporter is I'm trying to pitch the idea of the society and it being like rebranded or not branded. That seems very contemporary and goofy of like, going in a new direction. So the idea here is that I'm, I'm touching on, I just made a bunch of notes here. I'm like the idea of trying to use like the scientific method and deductive reasoning and like trying to understand things and actually applying science to the theological and trying to focus and like on the fact that the Vassana are like our history, but they also need to be part of our future because as we abandon them, we abandon who we are. Basically it's just this whole pitch of trying Ooh. to say like this, you know, like this is our culture and this is who we are and we need to, like understand it. And in order to do that, we have to use modern and contemporary mm -hmm. <laughs> methods of under, of, of reason and apply it to it. So I'm, I'm, I'm basically making the pitch to try to like, like I said, like to actually use the scientific method and actually try to like understand them on like a technical level, as opposed to just on a mystical level. Oh, interesting. Okay. But I, I think I leave religion like, the, because we have a bunch of religious scholars here, I think I leave <laughs> like the idea of like also applying that to religion. 
out, which mm-hmm. is what I originally was going to pitch. <laughs> now, that, now, that, now that we have a bunch of <laughs> yes, yes. theologians here, I, I, I change it from, from that. Like, oh, yes, and as, as they already do with um, the church, obviously. <laughs> Nice. And so yeah, the, the so the dean of the theology uh, department and his wife both both nod in agreement, and Olas as well is happy to uh, yeah to hear that you acknowledge the church. I try not to make too much noise, rolling my eyes. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, and everyone at the other end of the table always has their drinks filled because I'm looking for any opportunity to lean in and get in front of the reporter. Oh, okay. Like cutting her off while he's talking, you know, is filling right, right. people's glasses. Yes. Yeah. And you have, uh, she has, uh, attempted d- during a few of the, uh, uh, any momentary pauses, uh, when, uh, Axel was delivering his speech, she, ha- she d- did attempt to, uh, interrupt with questions or, uh, uh comments. And, uh, yeah, you were able to, uh, not on my watch lady. <laughs> <laughs> you were able to stop her. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So the, the meal proceeds. Yeah. So, so the overall, the crowd, uh, se- seems to, uh, receive very well, uh, what you were saying uh and uh all seem to be pleased that the um a uh, society is uh uh the, the, because they're they're all aware of the uh the kind of previous conflicts the the kind of two schools of thought and uh having a kind of a united united front involving both science and religion uh is uh yeah seems to meet with their approval just give All the right. masses what they want. That's the secret. <laughs> yes, very good, very good. All right, so as we move to kind of the after dinner, so you are approached um, by the reporter. She try, She, uh, uh, I think uh, maybe Nils uh, gets a little outmaneuvered and you end up uh, you know, getting stuck. serving drinks in the, <laughs> in the lounge. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. damn it! <laughs> yes. So she, she gets a moment... Uh, she gets a moment of uh, Axel to herself, and uh, she uh, says, uh, "So uh, I, um, one of my sources, who uh, actually is, is attending, is a well-known source of mine that is attending uh, this evening's dinner. Uh, Olas, the detective uh, Clint, uh, ha- has been uh, informing me of the uh, activities of this this newly formed society of yours. And and so just to describe, so everyone, everyone from the university is." Uh, uh, older and they bring their older wives uh but uh astrid is uh younger so in her uh early 20s and uh blonde just beautiful she's dressed um a, a little uh a little casually uh for the evening um and her hair is just kind of piled piled on top of her head but uh she's strikingly beautiful and uh, as uh as i think her uh her name card would have said she works for the uh, Uppsala New Times so the uh the Gazette Uppsala Gazette is the the paper that you uh are more aware of and the, the new times is kind of a uh, a uh, new more newly established uh but uh, uh very competitive uh yeah very, very have, competitive public pub, pub, sorry publication yes what does it have a political bent or a that i'm aware of like is it a right and or left leaning and or some other yeah it it seems uh m- more left leaning uh than uh yeah i think the uh the established um gazette it would be more conservative so yeah this is more left leaning so possibly yeah possibly more sympathetic to uh uh political movements and things and so her, she's mostly uh uh curious about asking you uh, uh, c- uh about events concerning the uh the witch cat in um because the um uh, she was able to speak with Sophia, uh, so she traveled. Uh, she traveled out there uh, because of the connection to the society uh, that the witch cat had. And uh, so, uh, now that I see that you've uh, uh, are assisting, you've taken over ownership and are assisting uh, financially with the running of this inn. Uh, I, upon interviewing uh, the proprietor uh, Sophia, she explained to me about the uh, the remains of uh, Oscar Hjort that. Uh, that you had discovered uh uh previously uh I, I guess this was probably one of your first involvements uh in this area and as uh as the the first uh the first thing at, in uh, official duty as, as the society that you were uh involved in uh can you tell me uh how how was this not uh, brought to the uh, uh attention of the uh the authorities why why were the police not uh, uh not involved well, the 
crime itself happened. I do believe I, I, out of thing. I believe it happened years and years and years. It's ago, like 50, yeah, 50 years ago. Yeah. Like 50 yeah. years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So the crime itself happened more than four decades ago. So. Yes. But the, so, the connection to the society and the, the members, the older members, previous members, I guess you would say that were involved uh, in this murder uh, have me, very concerned. So you have no relationship or no connection with this, with these these previous members of the society that perpetrated this this killing. No, the only person possibly associated with this is uh, well, I forget what her name is. Uh, what's the mm. name of the original lady? Oh yeah. Um, shit. Oh Nora, uh, the the no. mother. Yes. No, no, um, no, the lady who's the lady oh, who oh. he got the, the castle from. Oh, that's right. Um, oh, oh, right, right. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I have it right here. Uh, yes, Lena, <laughs> Lena, Elf- 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 Lena, Elf- Lena, Elf- Lena Elf- Ah, yes, Lena yes. Elf- Elf- yes, I've, I've been very, uh, very unsuccessful in my attempts to uh, speak with her. I, I'm, I'm hope if you would be so kind uh, to give me a sort of introduction. I, uh, I want to. Uh, uh, be able to uh, say in in my paper that uh, this this new society that uh, you are establishing is of course uh, correctly focused in uh, in how it will serve and how it will serve the the people of this country and I, I don't wish to uh, uh, I, I don't wish to find out that uh, some of the uh, the previous misdeeds uh, of the society are are being carried forward to this day. Uh, if you would be so kind as to give me some uh, access to Linnea, I know she has a connection to the original original members. Yes, she does. In fact, she is how obviously the original owner of this estate and who I purchased it from. Uh, she's I afraid that I, I, I fear that her dealings with Vassin and Possibly even the events that led to the murders that you're speaking of uh, have greatly weakened her constitution. She is under constant care, and I don't think I've even seen her myself, right? I haven't even gone to visit her. Right, just just letters. That's right. Yeah, you guys didn't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've only managed to speak to her myself through written communications, and even that she's all but cut off. I do not know if I could do much to aid in contacting her. I can send a a letter to her and see if she'll respond. I can tell you that the goals that I have, other than the fact that we are using this estate, which already had literature on subjects that I wanted to learn about on site, um, we are have very little to, I would say no connection to the old ways. There are, troubles, their actions, their beliefs on the Vassin themselves are not inherently what we hold. We're trying to forge a new path, a new direction of unifying our people and the Vassin themselves. As my uh, dissertation earlier discussed, in fact, I have a copy of it here if you wish to quote any of it <laughs> oh, your uh, paper. Yes. Uh, uh, oh I, I appreciate that very much and yes yeah, she she takes the copy from you well uh this is all very encouraging but of course uh, I, I i wish to keep a very careful watch on uh on how the uh the society proceeds from here and if you could inform me uh of any unusual events or, or any anything that you uh uh feel that the public should know about as far as uh, the progress that you're making or the, uh, the, the forces at work uh, uh, on mm-hmm. the, uh, the people of uh, the people of Uppsala and of course, greater Sweden. Well, that's actually interesting. I, my desire here is to not only learn myself, but disseminate this information among the populace. I'm planning on writing. And from my notes, I have uh detailed reports of each of the mm, cases that we work on. Is that something that you would be interested in potentially helping me publish? Uh, very much so. I think, uh, I think our readers would, uh, would appreciate uh, 
to be kept kept aware of the activities of the society. Uh, well, I can give you my first draft notes of of a little uh, of our first case, uh, the tell the witch cat in. I have them over here, and I'll I'll leave the room and kind of motion her with me to like the library and bring up a huge stack of loose leaf paper that I've been handwriting <laughs> okay. stuff okay. on and just give, give her like a stack of like, <laughs> like, oh, that like four, four inches thick of paper that I've been like, like in my mind is like a beautiful novel, but who knows? Right. It's, it's, it's <laughs> grambling of everything. That panics Nils and he goes uh-huh. uh, chasing <laughs> after them with his drink tray as soon as he sees that. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> well, this is, this is, this is more than generous. I uh, I appreciate uh, having this uh, this I can, uh, to refer to. I could to. use an editor. I mean, there's so much here, and I'm not used to writing for public consumption. I'm more of a uh, papers sort of man, more for the intellectual and for the the college. But if we could bring this to the masses, that'd be wonderful. I'd love your opinions on on this. Hey, hello, Nils. Did it... Yes, I'll take one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, and what's her name? Astrid. Astrid. Oh, what's her last name? Erickson. Oh, okay. Oh, of course, sir. And oh, Miss Astrid, you may be very interested to know that Professor Jorgensen in the other room was just saying how they have many openings in their secretary pool. <laughs> <laughs> what a fine, respectable job for us. <laughs> upstanding woman such as yourself uh yes i i, I have current employment i uh, think thank you very much uh uh nils was it yes uh, i i i wish to continue uh, this discussion with your uh uh with axel here so th- thank you very much uh very well uh sir <laughs> just just to let you know i <laughs> your friend olas is a little out of his element in there you may want to mingle <laughs> And I'll just of course. walk out after a judgmental stare. Okay. All I'll right. Kind of, I, I have a huge stack of papers and I put her hand, like my hands on both sides of her hands, like the papers crash right. between her. Basically, nice. I'm, just, I, 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 I'm half like wanting her to share stuff. I'm also trying to like browbeat her with intellect is my like mm-hmm. goal here, right? Is I'm trying to be like, I'm the smartest man you've ever met, which is how I'm always <laughs> trying to do it myself. So I'm just Good. trying to like, be like, here's this 400 page thing I wrote about us spending three hours at an inn. On- <laughs> right. I noticed there were three pages on me pissing myself. Yeah. <laughs> and your fear of puppets. Yes. Shadow puppets. Hmm. Very good. Yeah. She, she, yeah, she gratefully takes the, the notes and yeah, it is definitely overwhelmed. So yeah, you've had a big effect that your, your, uh, your strategy has worked. You've had a big effect on her, but uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think you've, you have, Turned her uh, adversarial uh, uh, kind of positioning into much more of an ally. She's so so glad that you're sh- we're sharing uh, with her. So now, why don't we go Isn't save Olas? <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, very good. Yes. Nils is gonna try to harvest information while he's walking around serving people. So like, oh, okay. Try to pick up on any any like good rumors or talk of these kind of revolutionary types or mm-hmm. maybe even if I hear anything about the the strange men with symbols on their coats or you know anything like that. Sure, sure. Yeah, um so definitely uh, among the um the academics you do hear some some references of the uh the kind of uh nuisance of this uh student movement and uh you have to be careful what you say nowadays and uh uh yeah it's a uh, it's a little little more touch and go than than we prefer it to be uh Uppsala uh, University the University of Uppsala is not uh not what it used to be uh there are yeah, strange strange forces at work and uh of course, the the theology, uh, theological uh, department is is convinced that it's uh, it's just deviltry, and if you know more people uh, uh, more people attended church, it would probably <laughs> probably <laughs> make things much better. Do we have in this castle like multiple rooms for receiving people, like you know, like a salon and a smoking lounge? And yeah, I would imagine. I would imagine. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's it's quite a 
large building. So, uh, yeah, I, I would assume you would have all of the, uh, you know, kind of traditional, uh, all right. Yeah. So you, you can kind of isolate people if you, if you need to. So yeah, just so that last knife sticking that last knife in at some point, <laughs> uh, I'm going to set up cigars and whiskey in the, in the smoking lounge mm-hmm. and announce that the gentlemen are invited to <laughs> take, take their cigars now. Okay. <laughs> And we have right. a lovely assortment of sweet breads and wine for the ladies here in the parlor. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, so the wives, yeah. Wives are made in the parlor. Uh, Astrid seems to, uh, uh, <clears throat> occupy her. She doesn't, she's not paying much attention is kind of occupying herself with the, uh, the notes. So she's, she's actually, uh, uh, found a, uh, found a seat and is, uh, uh flipping through. Okay. Uh, Axel's, Axel's notes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so it's it's an overall uh, uh yeah very positive evening. There's there's no negative response. Nobody seems to uh, act with suspicion. They're all enthusiastic about the the new direction of the society, and and all of them uh, offer their assistance. So if uh, if if there's anything that we can do uh, through our resources at the university, if you need you know research assistance or, or yeah, anything, uh, please uh, please contact us, and they all all uh, leave their information with uh, Nils. Ooh, Ooh, that is good. Yes, yeah, so I think that w- as soon as they start talking about like research assistance stuff like that, that's what I get excited about. <laughs> yes, <laughs> more oh, paper. I wonder yes. if that sh- that should be your advantage this time, Will. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, interesting. Yes. Yeah, very good. More than likely. All right. Yes, and and Olas, and remember Olas, like specifically, is an investigator of supernatural. So he's he's a good resource for anything that wouldn't be in your occult library or any recent goings on. All right. Yeah. Well, very good. Yes. Okay. So yeah, everyone, any everyone finishes their cigars and their sweetbreads and uh, are ready to uh, depart for the evening. And uh, yeah, and and like I said, that is all all positive, and you have uh, some. Good connection now at the university. A successful, uh, successful Astrid, event. Astrid came by herself, right? Yes, yes, she did. I'm gonna try to set it up so that uh, um, Frisk's nephew. Why? Why am I blanking his name again? <laughs> Wait, Damn let me it. pull it up. Leo. Is it Leo? Leo. Yeah, right, Leo. yeah Leo, because yes. he was kind of a bad boy. I'm gonna, yes, I'm, yes. I'm gonna try to set up so he escorts her home. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah they're they're close they're close in age uh so uh yeah and leo's leo is not an unattractive young man so um that's what i'm counting on leo <laughs> <laughs> i like how like like you're always like whenever there's a, a, a female <laughs> character who's like aligned with <laughs> With Axel, you're like, oh, stay away, stay away. He's not right for you. <laughs> uh, this is Nils being the overprotective hen, all right? She's yes, not right yes. for you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so she's grateful, uh, yeah, for the uh, for Leo's assistance, and especially because, yeah, she has a lot of things to carry now because of the uh, the stack of paperwork. Um, so, yeah, so... Uh, uh, yeah, she kind of she she sees what you're she, she uh, understands what Nils is doing. Uh, yeah, trying to. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> Not that off, transparent. Cut off her. That's cut off her, her ac- Yeah, cut off her access to uh, Axel. But uh, yeah, she's she feels pretty pretty positive about the evening. So she yeah cheerfully wishes you a good evening. Good night. Uh, all right. Um, yeah. So I think we're all. Uh, all set. Uh, so, uh, yeah, a, a successful party. And the next day, um, I think you have scheduled the meeting with the young priest. Oh, yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, that's good. So we'll, we'll make, uh, I made notes of, of uh, everybody. Is there anybody else that you kind of want to include? Any other kind of departments in the university you want access to? Because we'd mentioned... Uh, uh, theology, history, economics. Um, is there anything else that might come in handy who they could have attended? Yes, give me uh, your will. Oh, yeah, but both of you guys. Yeah, yeah, both of you guys. Because you'll, you'll both kind of use can use them as resources. Because any part, uh, any department can exist. <laughs> yeah. that, uh, I mean, I think that's what I would. Theology, history, economic. I mean, I wouldn't even. 
I don't think oh, actually you know what? economics, but maybe this would be a good time frame if there's anybody, you know, nosing around like evolutionary science. That would make oh, okay. that would make a lot of sense for oh, yeah, no, yeah, that, for that your works. approach, Will. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yes, yes. Yeah, and they would they would be very impressed with your your angle that you're taking with the studying the vase and yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay. Evolutionary science. All right. Uh, so the, yeah, the next day comes and, um, uh, you'd sent a letter, uh, for the, uh, the meeting with, uh, Oscar. So Oscar Ud- Udgren. And, uh, when, uh, when the uh, a time arrives, I guess it would be afternoon. Are you are we meeting for lunch or just some sort of, uh, Oh, we'll have a nice lunch for sure. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, oh, here I can, I forget. We've got resources and pictures and stuff. Um, so you've got. Need some money. Cause we don't do leftovers. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, um, at, so the, the door rings and, uh, uh, the, yeah, the door doorbell chimes and you see at the, uh, the doorstep, Whoa. A very, uh, very severe looking young man. So he's wearing his, uh, uh, his vestments as a priest and, uh, <laughs> yeah, appears to be about 25 years old. Grumpy. Um, yes. Grumpy. Yes. So uh, very, very severe. Yeah. He, he doesn't, uh, you, you don't see him smile and you can't seem to lighten the expression on his face. And it seems like this expression, um, is, uh, a, is one also of sadness and mourning. He has kind of a dark, uh, a dark cloud over him. Uh, so I am uh, Oscar Udgren. I'm uh, very, very pleased that uh, you will meet with me. I, I've heard uh, wonderful things about the uh, the society itself, and I, I'm, I'm hope that uh, you will be able to help me in this matter. Uh, may I come in? Of course, Father. Uh, where are you, Will? Are you in the cult library? Or are you ready? Yeah, to I mean, I, I think if we're scheduled to meet him, I'll probably be already like there it, it'll okay. cover. all right i'll introduce axel and this is father udgren master um i'll uh go prepare lunch if you'd like to chat ah very good i'll you know i shake his hand i don't know what the appropriate greed is it's or like it's quite as the same way uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. five yeah <laughs> The secret handshake. Nice. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so he, uh, so, so may, may we speak, uh, privately and he, uh, uh, looks, looks for, uh, someplace they can, you can have some kind of isolation. Of course. In the, um, in the... yeah, if, if, if we're not eating this stuff yet, I'll, I'll take him to the, the library. Oh, okay. The cult library. <laughs> oh. no, just, just, no, just, just to our regular library. The, <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> that one with all the the healthy exorcism volumes, as, as opposed yes, to yes. The, yeah. all right. Uh, so uh, Oscar says. Uh, so please let me uh, uh, tell you a little bit about my situation. It's uh, with a very heavy heart that I I visit you. Uh, there's been a tragedy that uh, the, and mysterious circumstances that I hope that you can help me with. Uh, I'm a priest in the uh, fishing village of uh, Folbaka. It's on the uh, west coast of uh, of this country, and uh, uh, just recently, as a, a few days ago, the uh, the body of my uh, dear friend and mentor, uh, Victor Eric Hedquist, uh, was found on one of the islands in the uh, fishing archipelago off of the uh, off of the mainland. Uh, his body washed up on the beach, and the uh, the coroner in the in the town identified him his cause of death as a gunshot to his head, and they just considered it a suicide and wrote it off as uh, yeah, something wrong with him. But I know this man. I've studied I, my whole uh, career has been under uh, studying underneath him, and I know he would never uh, damn himself to hell by by taking his own life. So I don't believe this this story. Uh, I refuse to accept those conclusions, uh, and I know who is responsible. Uh, but this is where I need you. I I have no proof, and I have no means to do anything about this. Damn. So, who, if you know who it is, tell me. Yes, the the last time I saw 
my friend uh, alive was one week before uh, his body was found. Uh, he was visiting Wrecker Island. Uh, Wrecker Island is a small, small fishing island in the archipelago uh, 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 off of the coast of Falbaka. Uh, it's a hub of uh, maritime traffic now, uh, quite busy. Uh, previously, and how it got its name was uh, it used to be the, the poor and suffering uh, failed uh, fishermen uh, turned to scavenging the wrecked ships and uh, uh, sunken ships uh, from this uh, the narrow pass between uh, Norway and Sweden. Uh, so basically they lived as scavengers, pulling anything of value from these ships. But uh, the past few decades uh, have brought uh, amazing prosperity to this horrible little island. Uh, it's become this uh, depraved uh, gathering of uh, the seafarers uh, because there now is money and the money brings the alcohol, it brings the crime, it brings the women. Brings the uh, sin, yes. Exactly. So uh, they say that some days uh, it is so, so busy now in this archipelago that some days you can walk from island to island uh, across the decks of the ships. The... Uh, the the money here is seems to be endless and i feel that this this place is a godless stain on the earth it's it's the herring it's the oil that uh, has also brought this sin so the the uh, fishermen now have sudden sudden prosperity and uh, one man has taken advantage of this this uh, the proprietor of this den of thieves and sin is a a man named Baron Zacharias Amundsen, and it is his mother, Abella, who the locals call the Godmother, who openly defies the word of the church and the, the teachings of our Lord. Uh, and my poor, my poor mentor has been thrown out many times uh, in his attempts to visit Wrecker Island and bring, bring the word of God and bring an end to some of this sin. So... Personally, I'm convinced that this Baron, Zacharias, and his mother, uh, along with their uh, dangerous, with uh, his dangerous brothers, Paul, Pete, and Apace, are doing the devil's bidding. And they are the ones that uh, brought uh, Carl Eric to the, his untimely death. So I wish you to accompany me to Wrecker Island to find proof of the guilt of these people and to help me uh, face these henchmen of Satan face to face. I require your assistance in this perilous endeavor. And uh, if you cherish your God uh, and wish to help his humble servant, I pray that you uh, accompany me to Falbaka to, uh, to find the, uh, and bring to justice the, the murderers of my, my dear friend. Well, The goals seem very noble. I do not know if I have the correct skill set for what you require. What I deal with is Vassin, typically, and the troubles that go along with them. It sounds like this is, though, potentially fueled by sin and the devil, men who have done this. Are you sure that the society is the right organization to come to? Yes, the the powers that have been used to uh, bring the prosperity to, prosperity to this area, uh, I believe center around this Zacharias, these devils, this devil's power that has brought this unusual abundancy is not of God's doing. And I fear that uh, this devil work is something that you can understand. Uh, and it may be too powerful for someone like my, uh, my friend and uh, uh, myself to confront alone. Uh, we need your knowledge and we need your uh, ability to, to deal with things beyond, beyond this world. Well, if indeed there is a... component to this that deals with Vassin or spirits or the devil himself I'll be happy to help however 
if this is just a criminal band, I have no authority in that case, and we should bring it to authorities of some kind. But we yes. can determine that once we're there. Of course, of course, yes, of course. If it, it does turn out that these are just men of evil, I wish to gather enough information to bring the authorities uh, to these islands and uh, find some justice for my friend. Well, uh, lunch, lunch is served. <laughs> All right. Yes. So he's yeah he's, he's still with his grim expression. Yeah. He uh, uh, says yeah, yeah th thank you very much and 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 bless you. And uh, yeah, and says a uh, a prayer before uh, uh, says grace before the lunch. Mm, yes, of course. <laughs> you notice you'll notice that I've made rye and sea salt crackers to look somewhat like. Uh, the wafers at a church. <laughs> <laughs> ah, very, very good. Uh, <laughs> your, your butler is uh, quite, quite talented. Yes, he's. He keeps this place running. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, is there uh, any? Um, yeah, anything else uh, you want to ask him about either the islands or the? You know, he just kind of like covered. Yeah, basically what he. Uh, yeah, what he knows, but yeah, there's more. Nils didn't hear the whole conversation, so oh, right, right. It's kind of like islands. <laughs> yes, more islands. Yes, uh, whereabout is this like in relation to us? So yeah. it's uh, north, yeah, the northwest coast. So yeah, uh, close to the. Um, get rid of this picture um yeah, if you look on the map if you go towards norway uh it's just below uh stromstad Felbaka. um so in uh in, in north of uh, gothenburg to go across oh sorry so south a little bit south of Uppsala and all the way uh west yeah so oh okay i see it now okay yeah yeah, yeah so the, there's an archipelago off of that uh off of that little peninsula Oh, we can take trains most of the way there. Oh, that'll be nice. Okay. Yes, and, and of course, I, I have already arranged uh, a, a boat that will bring us that will bring us to Wrecker Isle. Well, um, I'm trying to think if I have any questions specifically for him. Um, mm -hmm. So he's how many? Uh, is he the only priest like on this island? Uh, so uh, after yeah, so after the death of my uh, mentor, yes, I I have taken charge of the uh, the church in uh, Falbaka. Uh, I may I may be requesting uh, uh, further assistance uh, because our efforts our, our efforts to bring the word of God to these fishermen are uh, are, are not have not been very successful of late. The uh, the money uh, seems to uh, speak louder than the word of God. It often does. Um... The priest, the the, uh, the other man that passed away, he says is mm -hmm. uh, is another was his was a priest, correct? Yes, yes, he was. Yeah, also a priest. Yeah, and that he he served under. His name was. Uh, yes, yeah, so his his had, is he related to the priest that we know? Don't they have the same last name? Am I wrong? Oh, on this? No, no, Headfist. No, they're different. They have a, a maybe Carl. Yeah, yeah. No, his uh, so Vicar Carl Eric Headfist is the the friend, the dead friend. Okay. Yeah, the vic the vicar of the the church. So yeah, so Oscar has taken taken the role of vicar. Um, a very uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, not not unrelated. Um, I think I'm going to approach this the same way that I approach all the stuff. Like after people start telling me stuff, I mm -hmm. assume that they're very biased. So I'm going to do my own research. So I'm going to oh, okay. offer him um, betting for the night and tell him that we will oh. head out and. Potentially in the morning, um, I'm going to do a little bit of research for the night, and uh, I hope to speak to him again at dinner time. Yeah, uh, uh, very good. Uh, yes, I, uh, uh, I I look forward to uh, uh, to speaking more, and uh, thank you very much for your uh, hospitality. Of course. Um, you know, sir, the train will run through Stockholm. We could get some of those hats you like. <laughs> Perhaps on the way back. Perhaps on the way back. 
I'll, I'll, I'll run down Mills, like what he's, what this gentleman said. Um, mm-hmm. and be like, hey, I, sailors I, and decadence. What a yeah. shock. Yeah. I, I, I'd, I mean, it's possible we'll get there and there's nothing. It's just, I, I'm not seeing a lot of our direction on this. Um, mm-hmm. but, um, I suppose I can do a little research into the area tonight, see what I can come, come up with. Hmm. And I mean, we, we, I guess we technically don't have anything else going on and <laughs> right. it, it, it just, it just feels like we're getting mixed up with a crime syndicate, which isn't exactly the direction I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> You know, perhaps getting out of town will be good. Thinking of the the cult wandering around town. Oh, yes, yes, <laughs> right, right. Yes, that's right. Yeah, maybe not being here. <laughs> Take some heat off. All right. Any thoughts your, of your own, sir? Not sir. I wouldn't call <laughs> you sir. Any thoughts of your own? Yeah. Mills? Mills looks over his shoulder. <laughs> what? Is someone here? <laughs> Well, I'm skeptical, of course, sir. It's just my nature. Uh, I'm a little concerned about things in town, and I'm a little worried. Uh, With your permission, I'm going to talk to the staff about uh, taking some extra precautions and being more alert while we're gone. Yes, but also tell them that not to interfere if With? people do take action in the I don't think that if these people are up to no good I don't think we want our young charges here I don't think we want Anders or Leo going up against them oh no they're, of, they're course. of course not I just don't want them you know letting anyone in uninvited or yeah, no, absolutely, sir. I, I won't have them put themselves in harm's way. Excellent. Well, uh, the father's staying for dinner. We'll head out tomorrow. Oh, yeah, dinner. <laughs> well, Nils is going to find some time between lunch and dinner to have a little impromptu staff meeting. Oh, okay. Line the boys up. Frisk, Frisk, and Anders, and uh, let them know that we're p- going to be traveling. We're going to be gone for a while. That I'm a little concerned that the castle is beginning to attract some unwanted attention. And just so we're all clear, no one is allowed on the grounds in our absence, uh, other than like government officials, obviously, uh, police, and that sort. Um, and to just be very wary of people around the castle. Uh, all right. Very good, sir. Uh, yeah, I'll got, uh, uh, yeah, I will make sure the boys, uh, uh, help me in this. We'll keep, we'll keep the headquarters, uh, here very, uh, secure. Thank you. I'll got Leo. How was the young reporter? Oh, uh, yes, she, uh, she was, uh, she's quite beautiful. I, I don't know if you've noticed this. Uh, I appreciate you uh, allowing me to escort her. Uh, yes, uh, she seems very, uh, very interested in the goings on here. Uh, is she allowed to uh, to visit in your absence? No. <laughs> All right, very good. However, if you want to, and he reaches his pocket and pulls out <laughs> some, some shiny brass and hands it to him, uh, nice. you know, feel free to... Oh. to Take her for a coffee or something. Oh, very good. Very good. Uh, much appreciated. You know what? Uh, he reaches his pocket and pulls out some more. Take her for a couple coffees. <laughs> ah, very good. Uh, I, I, yeah, very good. And Al got looks happy too, because, uh, yeah, he would love to see, uh, Leo married off <laughs> <laughs> at some point. Uh, he's, he's, uh, yeah, not been very successful in life so far. So I know what I, I I don't know if we're at this point, but I know mm-hmm. what my, my advantage thing's gonna be. Oh, okay. 
All right. Yeah. Yeah. We can, we can, um, yeah, move ahead to that. Why don't you, yeah, because you might have to prep before you leave. And maybe most of the conversation uh, with the priest will be like on the train and things. So on the trip. Uh, so, yeah, why don't, why don't you, uh, uh, we talk about what you want to do in and preparation. One more thing um, oh, yeah. after all of this goes on, uh, I think I'm going to pull Anders aside. Uh -huh. And. Uh, <laughs> Mixed messages. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and not not Leo Anders though, and like uh, tell him to take Bella, which is our stabled horse, and mm -hmm. uh, deliver this package to uh, to Astrid. Oh, okay. And I'm I'm gonna uh, send her a crystal ball that I randomly purchased in here because it seems mystical and cool, right. and it uh, with a little note saying you know to help her glean the truth of you know what's out there or something like that. Something. Oh, nice. and playful but not you know <laughs> friendly all right and uh just like a little note you know and and uh, a rather expensive mystic object and uh tell them to please run that out there to her tonight and uh <laughs> oh, don't try not to let neil see you <laughs> very good sir I, I'll, I'll make sure that the uh, uh the lady receives uh receives your gift <laughs> i guess i'm marking uh three off of my wealth Woo! that's the cost of a crystal ball oh all right all right oh, my. see this is what they do to you <laughs> deplete your ruins <laughs> <laughs> all right Okay. Good, good. Yep. So, um, Anders does that. He very promptly, um, leaves. And, um, so what would you like to, what would you guys like to do as far as, um, equipment, uh, you know, spending the, or actually we should do the roll. Yeah. Why don't you, uh, roll your resource dice to see how much you have to, to spend before. Okay. I rolled one success on my seven <laughs> dice. <laughs> All right. You got one resource. How about Nils on his two? Yeah, my two. All right. Hey, I got one. All right. Oh, did, so two did, did you do that through the character sheet somehow? Yeah, under resources. Oh, I didn't realize you could do that. I was just rolling the thing. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Yeah, I'll start doing that now. All right, cool. Mm. Sorry. Continue on. No, nice. Okay, so if there's anything you already have in your inventory that you want to take, the camera or the archaeological equipment. Oh, so yeah, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so the priest explains that the islands are uh, are these odd little jagged granite islands. Um, very small. Oh, actually, um, he came prepared to show you a little map. Um, yeah, so, and actually, I, I guess, um, uh, also in the library you would have. So once he mentioned the name, he, uh, oh, where are we going here? Yeah. I like these, you know, these little, uh, digital versions of the story, but everything's in a different place. So it's really hard to find mm -hmm. like all the, where all the handouts and everything are supposed to be. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's a, oh, interesting. There's a, a index page uh let's do wait what's going on here sorry um okay i know there's a map i can oh there it is i can take you guys to a map um so here is where you'll be headed oh did i move you there okay yeah yes Okay, there we go. So the, here's a map of the uh, archipelago that uh, the priest wants to take you to. Uh, Falbaka is the, uh, yeah, the the mainland and the larger town. Uh, and then uh, kind of across on the other side almost of the archipelago is uh, Wrecker Island. And so that'll be your, your destination by boat once you uh, arrive by train. Train and coach, I think, uh, in, in Falbaka. Yeah, and so all of these islands, yeah, are are uh, are kind of small, rough uh, granite islands that uh, need to be carefully navigated, and uh, sometimes, yeah, the weather can be 
quite miserable, but this is midsummer. Um, so yeah, it should be. Oh no, midsummer is Sweden. We're gonna die. <laughs> so it should be pretty, uh, uh pretty calm waters. <laughs> uh oh, and you're, you're seeing symbols everywhere. All right, um, sir, might I be able to take a little extra out for an expenditure for this trip? Of course. What do you need, Nils? What do one, you need? One monies. <laughs> <laughs> I shall supply you one money. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And I will pack this excellent French Bordeaux. Oh. Combine fine wine. Oh, excellent. Okay. Which is better than Aquavit because you can use it to manipulate people. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, All right. Is there anything that. Do you like drag it over or something? Um. Yeah. Where's. Yeah. Uh, you can't uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did it. Okay. Cool. I got it. Okay, cool. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I really want to spend money on. My 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 super clever plan was to buy both liquor and poison and then put them all in the same bottle. <laughs> oh, uh, but that can't go wrong at all. <laughs> well, I'm thinking, you know, we're dealing with pirates and potential us being bushwhacked and kidnapped. Mm -hmm. If they break into our stuff and Drinker, I'm, I'm planning 18 steps ahead here, Matt. <laughs> nice. Uh, so I think I will do that. I'm going to spend a lot of my money on, oh. well, Fine cheap, cheap, cheap liquor. Oh, okay. Because they, they're. So the Aquavit then? No, just, just liquor itself is one of the. Inspire with uh -huh. alcohol. It's just generic. Like not sweet. anything fancy liquor. It doesn't say anything about it. The aquavit right. is well, it's kind of the same, I guess. They're the same. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll get liquor and is an aquavit kind of like vodka? Yeah, it's like yeah, wheat or uh, potato, yeah, based liquor, but they they flavor it with like herbs. Ah. So yeah, it has like you know anise or different uh, the different seed dill seed and things. Yes. So I don't know if. It just says availability three, so it costs three bucks, right? I'm going to buy an extremely strong poison and mix up a Ooh. toxic uh, Ooh, okay. thing. Okay. So wow. I've, already, I've now spent most of our my money. Okay. Wow. Okay. So yeah, put those in your uh, in your yeah. gear. I will. Nice. Wow. Extremely strong poison. Nice. I'm going to, since I'm probably the one packing it, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let you know that I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to put like a little mark on the bottom of the bottle or something. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> but I, 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 I tell him, you know, like if we oh run into God. problems, we uh, have a uh, suicide pact. No, this is for. <laughs> The potential ne'er do wells that befall us, or if someone steals our gear and then partakes in the in the drink, we'll be able to nice. find them. I have to be honest, sir. If one more ghost runs through my body, I'm probably going to drink the poison. <laughs> I prefer you don't. I prefer you don't. Nice. All right, but it's oh. poison's expensive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As it should be. I mean, yeah, it's, it's pretty brutal. Balls too, are expensive yeah. too, is like a bobble to give. Yeah, yeah. Someone, but, uh, <laughs> a very hot blonde, but yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, good. Okay, so um, you can set up by train. Uh, yeah, for, I guess first, yeah, you'll you'll go through Stockholm and then uh, take the line across oh wait real quick oh so, oh sure yeah anything uh, else oh yeah your special thing you were talking about oh, oh yeah right I, yeah. yeah and and we need to do the the one in our building that we have um didn't it? It? We, you, you get the gun one usually and oh. i usually use the whatchamacallit one yes right yes right. So, so, the workshop lets you do one of the players gain an extra advantage before mystery will maintain weapons or will maintain tools. Okay. You want me to do the weapon then? Yeah, that's good. And then once per mystery, okay. a player or character can gain a free success on a roll for locating or understanding a call set. That feels like something I'll pull out when right. I need it at the end. Okay. 
All right. the, the other one is because like now I'm having visions of drunken sailors and stuff. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. <laughs> so that night after I clean up and I put Axel to bed and I put Priest to bed, I go up to the attic or whatever we have and like strip down and basically do a, a training montage of my best bar fight moves. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. To right. hopefully improve my close combat. All right. Nice. Okay. And what what uh, advantage does uh, Axel want? I think, if possible, my idea would be uh, to because we're going out to this archipelago and it's all crazy. Is to look over any maps and stuff of it. To basically, mm-hmm. I want to try to memorize the terrain. So oh, if okay. we ever get end up in a boat out in the middle of water somewhere, oh, I good. potentially have a chance to direct us where how to get back. Right, right. Okay. No, that's good. Yeah, you, you can you'll have some advantage for for navigating through. Yeah, yeah. So that map, you've committed that map to memory. So yeah, you're gonna know everything, uh yeah, everything that's known about that area and how to get from here to there and kind of yeah, best routes and things. Mm-hmm. All right. Very good. Okay, yeah. So, um, on the train ride, uh, yeah. So you free. So the, uh, uh, the priest, yeah, still, uh, maybe has a a small degree of uh, relief on his face now that he's uh, <laughs> he has he has some uh, you know, allies that are going that are headed to uh, uh, help him. I'm looking uh, at this picture. It hasn't changed. I'm just saying. <laughs> he's still a yeah, so it's so very certain. You, you stern. You haven't seen a smile or, or anything. He. Uh, well, it is uh, a rich kid and his butler. How, how, <laughs> how exciting can that be? Yeah. So still pretty pretty grim. So when did when did the sudden wealth strike these like mm. the strike these islands? Yes, so um, about uh, thirty years ago, about three, de- yeah, three decades ago. Uh, so the uh, uh, Unmundsons. Uh, so he he explains what he's know he knows from rumors. So the Unmundsons were a uh, uh, poor fishing family on the failed uh, Wrecker Isle and turned to uh, wrecking to uh, uh, make a living. Uh, the father, uh, the father Benjamin, uh, died uh, under dubious circumstances. No one knows uh, his cause of death, uh, and some say uh, that it was one of his sons that uh, took his life. But it could have very well been the sea. Uh, but what happened these uh, some thirty years ago, uh, when the uh, uh, the godmother. Uh, uh, she bought the uh, uh, the entire island, uh, the the entire entirety of Wrecker Island, with the uh, uh, the monies they'd been able to save, uh, been able to save from the uh, uh, from from their scavenging, and uh, uh, the uh, at, at the time that she had done this, uh, the uh, uh, herring had uh, suddenly returned, and uh, they established on this uh this small wrecker island a uh an inn and also a uh, uh a warehouse to uh and saltery to salt the herring and to manufacture uh train oil so as you know train oil is very uh maybe more even more lucrative than than herring itself uh now in the modern world we use it as a uh, as a lubricant for everything it's a component for almost any modern uh product and uh, uh, so they, they uh, through the train oil and, and herring, became quite successful and built up this island to the uh, 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 the the busy uh, uh, busy hub of uh, of this archipelago. Uh, so this uh, the the uh, youngest son Zacharias, who is now known as the Herring Baron, is quite unusual. He's a very clever man and very popular uh, with the women because of his uh, his good looks uh, and bears almost no resemblance to his uh, his older brothers, uh, Paul, Pete, and Pace, who seem to uh, uh, have uh, some sort of ignorance and uh, are quite uh, quite unappealing uh, to be around. I think you, you could say uh, simple-minded is the best way to describe them. 
So uh, he he stands out, and his his uh, uh, appearance uh, in the family, of course, uh, also coincided with the purchase of the island and the return of the herring. Uh, so he was I've born heard, then, or he showed up then? Uh, there are people that say uh, that he was not, uh, because of course the godmother was a, a bit advanced in her years by then. So uh, it's it's said that she uh, that this may have been some sort of foundling, that this may uh, may have been a, a child that they abducted, but appears not uh, not to be of of blood. Uh, and, uh, uh, but, but at that time, still the, uh, still Benjamin was alive. So it's, it's possible. It's possible. This is their child, but there are rumors that he comes, he comes from, uh, outside the family. Okay. Uh, and I've also heard, uh, that, uh, one of the brothers is missing, uh, currently, uh, Paul, uh, they haven't heard, uh, from Paul around, uh, uh, in this this past uh, several weeks, uh, around the yeah, the same time as uh, uh, Carl Eric uh, had visited the island. Oh, and and something very important. Uh, uh, the vicar, uh, my friend, uh, this visit to Wrecker Island, he armed himself. Uh, he brought his revolver, which he had never done before. But the threats against him uh, from his subsequent visits, his previous uh, his previous visits. Uh, uh, he had had his life threatened many times, and so he feared for his safety and uh, brought his revolver. Uh, he died uh, uh, from a, a bullet in the head, and mm -hmm. his revolver has has not been recovered. And where where was the body found? It washed uh, it washed up on the uh, uh, the uh, one of the uh, islands, the uh, 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 maybe graveyard, yeah, graveyard isle. Uh, it was found on the. Uh, uh, okay. Graveyard Isle, f away from uh, Wrecker Island. It's doubtful, doubtful then that his firearm will be found. Okay. And uh, yes, uh, yeah. So yeah, so the, the, his his uh, pistol was not found, and uh, the the whole uh, 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 the whole atmosphere. Well, you you will see for yourselves when you arrive. But the whole atmosphere. Uh, of this place is uh is foul foul and unholy and uh you will soon understand uh why carl eric wished to uh wish to bring the purifying word of of god here it's a it's a foul place do there's other islands here is are those owned by other families uh as far as i know uh any map where uh, with named isles uh, are uh, there will be small fishing huts and uh, maybe families present. Wrecker Island uh, originally was uh, uh, where the the starvation uh, the uh, the families uh, went went to starve, but also where they uh, would set off to uh, uh, to salvage uh, wrecks. Uh, and the, they, the, the, they somehow the, purchased that. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. So the the uh, Amundsens uh, owned this island. So they they came into some wealth, and uh, uh, established the uh, uh, the sultry, the inn, and also a quite impressive uh, residence on the island itself. What's the name of the inn again? Oh, the uh, oh the inn is uh, just uh, Rec Recker Inn. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you said yeah. sultry. Oh yeah, no. So yeah, the salt, sultry, uh, sultry is the uh, the oh, warehouse. Yeah, okay, sorry, gotcha, sultry. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. The sultry where is the uh, the 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 uh, herring are prepared and the oil is uh, manufactured. Got it. Now I'm I'm on board now. All right. <laughs> I've downloaded <laughs> everything. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, yes. Oh, this, uh, Nils here is my man. Uh, if he comes to you with any questions or needs, think of it as if it's coming from me. Ah. Oh, Nils looks a little chuffed at that. He's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, but it may be good that once we get to town, because I assume that the church itself is in Fallbacker. Yes, uh, right. I, 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 but I. 
my uh, arrangements were for us to leave. Uh, uh, I've chartered a ship from Gothenburg, so uh, we can, of course, visit uh, visit Falbaka, But I, I thought we should directly uh, we should head directly for the Wrecker Isle. That sounds good. However, due to your connection and trouble, mm. I believe that once we get on that ship, we should no longer pretend to be acquaintances until I, I've gotten a better read of the situation on Wrecker Isle. Ah, I see. It may be safer for you and for my man here if we are not thought to have a connection to you and the church. Ah, I understand. Yes, uh, we can arrive... Uh, we can arrive, or the, the boat that, that I've chartered, uh, we can arrive as uh, as passengers, unassociated passengers. And there is, of course, uh, uh, another uh, personal matter I, I wish to attend to uh, on the island. So uh, I will accompany you, but uh, yeah, I understand we, we will not, uh, we don't have yeah. to be seen together. Um, um, I'll probably be using Nils here to communicate with you in the future, or at least in the short term for the first little bit. Yeah. So that I don't appear to be connected. Uh, Very good. Is uh is he a native? Or did I miss that? Is he a local? Oh yes, yeah. He um he studied in, in Uppsala for some time, but yeah, he uh uh that that is yeah, he's from western uh Sweden. Let's see if they, they specifically say, Is this a, uh, a multi day train train ride to get here? I'm trying to visualize the distance. It's not, right? It's I think you could do it in a day, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see if I can make this thing work. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You could definitely do it in a day. But it's gonna take yeah, it's gonna take most of the day and you'll right. probably set up the next set up the next morning on by ship. So uh, at some point when me and Niels are alone, I'm gonna pitch my genius plan on how we're gonna handle the situation. Pitch away, sir. So I believe I have a slight air of money about me. Lay so down at, at the fancy clothes that you probably had me dressed in. <laughs> uh, just a touch, sir. Just a touch. There's no money in herring oil, and there's a sudden influx of herring here. I say that we approach Wrecker Isle as potential investors looking oh. to either purchase or buy into their oil production. I believe that will potentially give us access to the people themselves Excellent. in a non-hostile way. Very good, sir. I assume you will be the investor and I will maintain my image as your manservant? I feel like it's... We should stick with what we know. That sounds like a genius. <laughs> Very good, sir. <laughs> Oh, no switcheroo, no switcheroo this time. Yeah, no switcheroo, <laughs> guy, and I understand. <laughs> I, still, I still need you to make all my meals for me, though. So I don't know how to <laughs> nice. And I, I explained to you that, you know, once we get to the boat and everything that, we're going to, and the guys of this cover, we're not going to have any connection with the priest, but if need be, I mean, I think you were there when I was talking to him, but <laughs> you know, like you'll be the probably the go-between for us, so as to not draw any attention to potentially us investigating the death of the other priest. Excellent. Perhaps some sort of large coat and hat is in order. <laughs> for skull duggery. Yes, yeah, so I should have thought to bring more coin with me. I don't have as much as I normally have. Uh, Sir. Hmm. Yes, but if you need a coat, I'm sure we can buy one here. And will you be using a uh, nom de guerre, shall we say, a uh, different name, <sighs> different yes. origin, perhaps a real estate man from Stockholm or some such? Yes, I'll get to work on that right now. And I'll sit down and start scribbling various iterations of names into a book. 
I'm trying <laughs> to think of what I want to call myself. Let me know when you decide so that I can announce you appropriately. Of course, Nils. I suppose we can keep you the same. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so I'll, 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 I don't know. I'll, I'll Google some cool names here, and uh, we'll yeah. have a whole, a whole alternate personality that I'll. <laughs> All right. <laughs> when you step off this train, he's Tommy Timerson from New York yes. City. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and and Gothenburg would give you another chance to. Uh, have access to anything additional. So do you actually have no resources left or I have a resource left. Oh, oh okay. Including what you rolled? Well you didn't roll good. I rolled a one success, that's the problem. Uh, I spent right, right, right. I gave you I spent three I spent four on poison and liquor. Three on the crystal ball. <laughs> oh, okay. And I uh, gave you one, so that's Okay. And you still, was it a skill? Some, something gave you a plus two social. I have a plus uh, three resource. if I'm using, oh, yeah. Three. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Plus three. Yeah. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. Uh, would it be within reason in Gothenburg for Nils to uh, open a credit account uh -huh. under his. Uh, master's name somewhere? For sure. Yeah. 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 If there's something, yeah. If there's something that you, you would. Uh, I'm going to get yeah. matching sh matching sets of oversized coats and hats. Okay. And dark colors for us if we end up having to do that kind of thing. Okay. All right. Sounds good. What um let's see. What's going on with my mouse? All right. I'm going to put sneaky git clothes in my gear. Okay. <laughs> oh. All right. Yeah, and that shouldn't be shouldn't be much at all. I'm trying to think of what's an oh, elegant disguise. So yeah, not not an elegant disguise. So no, maybe no, no. A, a simple disguise. So yeah, so one yeah, one resource. Yeah. That will... So is that my last resource for spending right now? No, well, that's why I was gonna open it. I was gonna open, a, I was gonna oh, open okay, a credit gotcha. account. You're gonna get a bill. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got you now. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go with Adam Bernadette, which is oh, okay. Should be actually, if I'm looking at this right, Bernadette is the royal family's last name. So oh, I, am, okay. I am trying to give myself a very distant noble connection. To nice, nice. Okay. Oh no! What? What's that? Uh -oh. Oh, never, never mind. Never mind. I thought I deleted my notes. Oh, okay. Uh, how do you spell that, Will? Uh, well, Adam. Well, right, yeah. <laughs> Uh, B E R N A D O T T E. Oh, okay. Oh, like Bernadotta. Yeah. Okay. Bernadotta. Nice. Cool. I'll forget this continuously, but that is what I'm going with right now. How do you, <laughs> how do you nice. get out of edit? Oh, never mind. Figured it out. Got it? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see, Adam Bernadotte, uh, Axel's <laughs> cover. I, I try to keep it easy by going with Adam and not go with a crazy name. <laughs> All right, cool. Because I will forget that name and mm -hmm. say the wrong thing. And that's when everything comes crashing down on us. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All 
All right. And so you're um, we're going to pose as uh, investors or someone interested in getting into the herring market? Oh, yeah. Yes. What's, what's your cover yeah. story? Where are we from? What's your business? What's your line? We're from Stockholm. Um, okay. I And I think we're going with that I'm a a young member of a, you know, like I'm like the, the fifth son of some family somewhere. So I have nothing going on except for money. And Oh, you're I'm a whale. Trying. You're a whale. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. And I'm, 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 well, and I'm trying to like, ah, uh, I've heard this thing. Uh, no one's out here investing in this yet. Oh, I'll get a, this is how I'll make my name. Quote unquote. Mm. Okay. All right. You're in the import export business. <laughs> Your art vandalay. <laughs> you were, well, you got out of the importer. You're mostly just an exporter now. <laughs> yeah. And you're also an architect. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> art vandalay. <Yeah. laughs> Adam's getting upset. Adam's getting angry. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right. You know that was the plot of their fake sitcom too. Was the guy that like committed a crime or whatever? So he had he was sentenced to be the butler of the other person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny. Right. <laughs> oh man. All right. Okay, so are we good to head head to Ricker Isle. Yes. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, the um, the priest has. Oh, okay. I'm on a different page here. Yes. Yeah, so, so the priest has uh, uh, secured a ship from Gothenburg. Um, that yeah will give you the most uh, anonymous entry uh, possible to the archipelago. Um, and uh, yeah, the. There we go. Um, so yeah, the, the captain of the ship is uh, Hjort. Uh, he's just introduces himself as Hjort, and he uh, uh, is, a, is a young man, but uh, uh, says that he knows the islands very well, and so he'll he'll safely navigate and bring you to Wrecker Isle. And uh, but uh, yeah, he'll warn you it's uh, it's it's a it's a rough it's a rough place. Uh, you should. Uh, uh, be prepared. Uh, uh, of course, there's there's money there, but there's also a lot of bad, a lot of bad people. So we keep hearing. <laughs> yeah. So your captain is Schwartz, and he'll bring you. Yeah. Fortunately, so you, uh, my master yeah. Adam Bernadotte knows how to handle <laughs> bad people. <laughs> oh, very good. Uh, yes, you look quite capable yourself. So I wish you uh, luck in your endeavors on this uh, in this place. And this feels like the situation where I'm actually going to carry my pistol on myself for the Ooh. first time ever. Oh, nice! All right, if we're going into a hive of scum and villainy. I feel yes. like a blaster may be required. So. <laughs> Yeah, so you're um uh you're traveling along this uh your beautiful shining sea in the midsummer, um and so all of these uh this gloom and doom that uh, uh people have been talking about these islands it doesn't seem to make any sense. It's a beautiful day, uh the the water is bluer the farther you look out, and uh, so you slowly approach. Uh, in the on the horizon you see some uh some shapes uh, off of the the mainland uh, some kind of rounded shapes of numer numerous barren uh, granite islands and uh, uh Hjort, uh navigates you uh further uh to the west of them and uh you arrive uh from the south to uh to Wrecker Isle so immediately you see that uh there's a a newer looking a large newer looking uh dock built off of this small island and just countless fishing boats and freighters are moored there uh a large yellow uh warehouse is the the most notable uh, structure on the island and it seems to be there's only three buildings there's the uh the warehouse a uh, a residence and uh then a smaller uh kind of older uh building that uh uh is marked as the inn so um uh 
as you start to uh, uh, start to dock the uh, uh, the boat, you just hear uh, you know shouting of sailors, uh, snapping of sails. But before you even um, were uh, in sight of uh, of the dock itself, this sour stench of uh, herring and the manufacturing of uh, uh, train oil just spreads like a disease in the gentle breeze that you were enjoying on your trip here. So uh, it starts to become. Uh, uh, yeah, just the air becomes foul, and uh, people, you know, obviously tolerate it because of the the profit involved. Um, and uh, the warehouse itself is is, uh, is ridiculously oversized, yeah, for such a small island. But uh, obviously, the the prosperity they need they need the room and the manufacturing, and uh, the warehouse itself, of course, painted bright yellow, and uh, the uh, uh, smaller the smaller buildings is obviously the the residents. Um, uh, the residence and the uh, the older building is the inn. So as you uh, disembark and uh, uh, the priest, uh, you know, uh, uh, wishes you good luck and uh, you go your separate ways, uh, not not departing or not uh, disembarking together. So appearing to be separate groups of travelers. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, yeah, yes. Our cover is solid. <laughs> so the large dock is uh, extremely crowded. There's sweaty fishermen and sailors hauling barrels. Of herring and train oil between boats, fully it's, rigged. Oh, sorry. Oh no, sorry. Uh, I, I'm immediately like, what? What we're really here is, I'm, I'm trying to determine if this is like, you know, uh, society business or authority, oh, right, right. legal mm-hmm. law authority business. So, I'm immediately looking for like runes and oh, okay, inappropriate symbols on the, you know, like like crazy altars built somewhere on the coast. I'm just, I'm, I'm looking for stuff that's going to make me think that maybe this is something that is more than, you know, a mob family defending their right. turf from a nosy priest. Right. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Um, yeah. So uh, as you approach the only thing, um, the only thing you noticed in your approach from the South is uh, ha- having memorized the, uh, uh, the map of this archipelago, there was a, a small Island, um, uh, kind of the, the f- further to the the west of, of Wrecker Isle that wasn't on any of the maps. So the the maps that indicated every one of the smallest islands, even if they're just a you know a hundred feet across. Um, but there there was an island that wasn't on any of the maps, and it it appeared to be. Um, whereas the the rest of these islands appeared to be granite, uh, it had a, a a strange appearance. It had a, a strange kind of lighter uh, appearance um, than the than the dark uh, granite. Okay. I think we've found the corruption here, sir. It's just <laughs> the corruption of industry. You, you might not be wrong. I'm still not sure this is really our business. Hence the uh, identities. I should have brought one of the boys because I don't trust any of these people to carry our luggage. <laughs> <Very good. laughs> well, let's check into the inn and then I assume I'm like staggering with a million bags like I'm right oh right behind you sir (laughs) nice I'll uh I'm gonna play up the rich guy stuff and grab a couple coins out of my pocket and just see like a guy standing on the side of the road you know around and like toss him some coins and say help my man with those bags and I'm gonna start acting like a pompous rich person. Yeah, all right. Expecting everyone to just, you know. <laughs> and then it literally know. takes me five minutes to decide which bags I would trust him to carry. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, one of the sweaty sailors yeah drops the barrel that he's uh, moving and uh, yeah goes after the coins to help you out. Yeah. All right. Oh, so so here's the uh, uh, map of the aisle. So this is yeah. So the dock itself. That's where you're approaching, and then so uh, coming down the dock immediately to the uh, left, where all the uh, activity is, uh, is the large warehouse. And so uh, uh, away off of that, like the the next the next thing that you notice, that's a smaller building, but still pretty pretty grand, is the uh, the residence itself. So as uh, the priest explained, yeah, this is the Amundsen's uh, residence. Mm-hmm. Uh, and just a two-story uh, wooden house. 
but uh, in, in a much nicer condition than the uh, than the inn that you can see kind of further back uh, behind it. Um, so the, the inn is yeah. only like the only like place we see. There's not like uh, other places these sailors might you know like hostels or anything it's just that in yeah no just the inn. yeah i mean the other islands um yeah there, there are places there's there's cabins and things on the other islands uh that the sailors could use but but mostly yeah mostly it's just the uh, uh on it's this like island shanty towns before this was right yeah because it, right, yeah, it was right. it, yeah before the the prosperity it was yeah it was yeah people just living uh yeah living in the uh the most yeah bleak conditions right Let's see. So, um, well, yeah, your yes, favorite so. here is to build a poker room. Oh, what's that? The, I was yeah. just telling Will the secret here is oh. to build a poker room, make some money. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. That would be better than dinky herring, the, the smelly herring business. Yeah, I, I don't know if the money I would get off of these people would be worth it. However, <laughs> I do. I would like to speak with them, but uh, I think we should check into the end. And as I always think is the best way is to approach this with the least amount of uh, coloring to our views on the situation so that we uh, maybe tonight we take a look around the warehouse and look for signs of the devil or other supernatural things. And if we find something that we know we're on track, and if not, maybe then we don't even interact with said gangsters. <laughs> hmm. Quite. All so right. let's secure ourselves. I think one room is the correct number in this case. I don't think we should be sleeping in separate rooms with how I'm presenting myself. Hmm. Very yeah, well. that's true. Yeah, yeah. You've noticed you're, you're definitely the uh, most affluent-looking, best-dressed uh, yeah, person on this island. Everyone else is uh, pretty grimy and just here for the uh, for the train oil. All right. Um, yeah, yeah. So you make your way past the the residence, and what? Uh, why don't you roll? What's the? Uh, what, make sure. I, yeah. So just uh, maybe investigation is right. still the best yeah as, as you make your way just you're, you're kind of paying attention to what's going on both of us oh yeah sure yeah both of you can do that Ooh. Ooh. oh okay uh. <laughs> so you see uh it was a long trip <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> definitely so on the uh the second story of the the residence you see the the silhouette of someone that's uh, uh watching your approach uh but other than that uh yeah you don't you don't uh, see anything else unusual um I'll, I'll, I'll play it up you know like i'll step and then stop and act like i stepped in something and be all disgusted at my shoe like oh <laughs> everything's okay. so filthy here and like <laughs> nice and when he stops i'll have to you know gradually stop because i'm carrying a million things and <laughs> yes. look at the the sailor he hired and the sailor man who's that up there that's uh, Omenson. I'm sorry. Uh, that's uh, Omenson. They they own the place. Uh. <laughs> he does. He's not very helpful. <laughs> and then yeah, uh, we'll continue on. But it's just I'm pantomiming for the people watching us that I'm a rich bratty kid. Yes. Yes. Good, good. All right. And if you rolled better, you would see that that did not go unnoticed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, right. You're marked. <laughs> All right. So here, let's uh, get you guys to the inn. Yeah. So, so behind the residence is the uh, the record in itself. So you come in. Yeah, on the ground floor. And like I said, it's probably one of the. Uh, 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 it's an, an original building that uh, was barely renovated uh, to make it usable as an inn. So not not very impressive, but uh, a lot of rooms though. Yes, yes, very um, uh, 
very noisy and full of uh, full of guests as you arrive. Where are oh, there we go? Everything's in such a weird location. All right, so yeah, um, the uh, uh, and as you enter, you see the the ground floor with a large dining room and uh, some coming and going from a kitchen. And then some other, yeah, uh, yeah, and then some stairs, then up to the uh, 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 guest rooms, guest rooms above. And is this? Yeah, so we've got two, yeah, two floors. Third, two, third, third floor, sir. More defensible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, most definitely, yes. All right, and make it quick. I'll yell at him as he starts to walk away, like I'm frustrated <laughs> at. <him. laughs> Yeah, All right. <laughs> so, so as you uh, uh, enter that this uh, uh, dining room on the ground floor, uh, the first thing. Let's make sure I got this right. Yeah, this is all just entryway. Uh, the one thing you notice is that uh, by the stairs there is a uh, seated on top of a, uh, a liquor barrel is an old woman uh, cradling a, uh, a shotgun. Uh, she's, wear- <laughs> she's wearing a uh, a filthy apron that she occasionally picks a corner up of and and uh, po- polishes the uh, the weapon with. Good lord! Uh, and- <laughs> where where have we gone? <laughs> and uh, there's some uh, waitresses, some very uh, lightly dressed waitresses that are uh, uh, taking orders and moving through the dining room carrying plates. Um, and uh, yeah, so there's it, look, it appears to be just uh, you know sandwiches and beer. Are being served here. Nothing uh, very significant. Nils is gonna very loudly drop the baggage. L- look at the sailor. Make sure he drops all the baggage. <laughs> he doesn't take anything with him. Right. And then bark at one of the nearest waitresses. Girl, girl, we need we need assistance. Ah, uh, 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 yes. Um, uh, will you be needing a room? Yes, third uh, floor, please. All right, and uh, 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 then uh, she, the uh, the waitress turns uh, to the woman in the corner and says, uh, "Godmother, we have we have guests. Godmother, there's uh, uh, two two guests, two, and yeah, one one room for the uh, the the third floor they're requesting, and uh, the large room. <laughs> the, the old old woman uh, just looks at you. Uh, she, yeah, she studies you with a oh here." Oh wait, we got. Oh, sorry, sorry, we got pictures. We got pictures. Go um, so uh, this is the waitress that attends you. So very uh, uh, young, uh, pretty uh, waitress is helping you with your bags, and this is the woman in the uh, the corner. That's so very up. yeah. Oh, is it? Lo- oh, sorry. Oh, I got to show. I didn't click show. Show show. There we go. <laughs> Everyone's yeah. so angry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so she looks the uh, the young waitress is uh, pretty, but obviously uh, tired. Her work is uh, exhausting, as there's many customers and many rowdy uh, customers in the uh, the inn. And so the old woman in the corner uh, that she called, uh, she addressed as Godmother, um, uh, tells you. Uh, Room, rooms are uh, so I guess she's gonna yeah call them what like 400 four hundred four uh four hundred crowns so like four four resources a room costs uh, four oh, resources crap. yeah so she, <laughs> she looks at your appearance and and gives you a price of of four hundred crowns for a a a room on the third floor I mean, I mean I don't have that how did that credit thing work that you did Is that just a line <laughs> of credit for a jacket. Right. Well, you can use your social, your, uh, uh, yeah. your, your, your social resources. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you can add, if you, if you want to add to, uh, yeah. Cause I guess the, um, the priest would have warned you, um, that it may be, uh, uh, maybe expensive. So this is sort of a, to stay on the Island, kind of a gold rush town thing going on here. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Everyone's getting gouged. And if you look like, if you look like you can pay, they're going to ask for it. So I am going to uh, interject into this that uh, oh, yeah. this is um, my master, Adam Bernadotte, uh, wealthy financier from Stockholm, here on an economic exploratory mission. We may be here a while, so we require a line of credit. We don't give 
credit to land lovers. No, no mainlanders uh, get get free uh, free anything here. I'm sorry, sir. I tried. She's quite calm. <laughs> Hmm. Now I feel bad about buying that crystal ball. <laughs> right, right. As yeah, you so, should. <laughs> yeah, if you can, because uh, uh, you you both you both can do some uh, uh, can manipulation. You, like, manipulate yeah, you, I, I help him or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, you, you manipulation with assistance. Um, because your your introduction, yeah, can can work as assistance, and you've still got the three. Yeah, so you've got the three resources you can use in this situation. Yeah, the, the plus three to the yeah, well, yeah. It's plus three to the rolls, right? So. Oh right, uh, right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's right. Plus three social. Oh, that's right. That gives you the social role benefit. Okay. I'll yeah. Say, that, or, work. or maybe uh, we can have rooms at the estate. I kind of say, scoffingly, at the house uh, out there. That looks like that's more. My uh, style, for lack of a better word. Yeah. <laughs> no rooms in my house without an invitation, and I ain't giving you an invitation. Jesus. <laughs> Say, oh, are you the are you the owner of this of that establishment? Of this establishment, even. That's your home. <laughs> yeah, Abella Abnunson, uh, you can call me Godmother. Well, Godmother, uh, as my man here announced, I'm here looking for investment opportunities. Uh, I would think that you'd be more friendly to people coming, offering investment in your little enterprise here mm. Zachariah does all the business uh, you, you need to talk to him hmm. where's he at back at the house Pete Pace bring these gentlemen to uh, your brother yeah so the uh, there's two uh, oh wait I got, I got more art I got more art um, <laughs> <laughs> uh where are they? Oh yeah. Wait, we're we're leaving, sir. <laughs> yes. And they'll, they'll help you with the bags. Yeah. So so two uh ah! <laughs> two lovely gentlemen that uh yeah, look look very related. Um oh. looks like they the, the product of first cousins possibly. Um uh, approach you. Uh, o- older gentlemen, they they appear to be like in their 50s and uh uh, but but hulking, uh, okay. and just not a very uh, kind of a uh, uh, very very dim a uh, dim look, and they're like, and they uh, uh, start reaching down for their bags. Follow us. Um. So yeah, Pete and Pace kind of gather up the uh, the bags. I will make sure I carry the one with the bottle of poison in it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I, I I think they should carry that one in case they get excited and steal it and drink it. But okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, so, so we're heading out to the house then? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. He's. Uh, they're. They're bringing you. Uh, is she staying here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She okay. stays. Yeah. She. She hasn't moved from her. Uh, the liquor barrel that she's uh, seated on, and they're. They're just. Yeah. Shifting all your your baggage off and uh, uh, taking it over to the residence. Nils doesn't understand why Axel's not more offended, so he's being offended for him. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> all right. All right, so they uh, it's they, they lead you. Is yes. that your names? Uh, yeah, 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 yes, <laughs> yes. As, as we're walking, uh, where's your brother at? Oh, he's uh, unavailable at the moment. Oh, and he's all fishing. The other one says, <laughs> and his name was Paul again. Yeah, that's Paul. He's fishing. Of course. I thought the fish <laughs> smelled bad. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. And if you want to roll, uh, either of you want to roll observation while they're kind of helping you with the bags. Observation? Hey, I'm pretty good at that. I'm pretty good at it, too. Let's, let's see what we get. Oh, my God. 
We see Whoa. everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. You said you too. Oh, man. Okay. So <laughs> we're going to have to rewind a little bit here. Over there. Over um, there. Over there. <laughs> so, um, uh yeah wow yeah you see uh so you've heard um yeah i'll, I'll give you a little bit so as, as you're as you're leaving the uh uh the inn and you're kind of uh studying what's going on uh, you hear the godmother address the waitress that helped you as justina and uh uh then uh let's see yeah and uh and you definitely see from observation that the the brothers are, are completely lying about their about paul about the uh where where paul is or what what's going on with him um and uh and you notice a uh a fisherman uh that was that that studied you uh in the dining room as you entered he was very very intoxicated uh and a, a very old older fisherman but he was very interested uh in your arrival uh yeah and the uh the last thing you notice as the uh the the two brothers are helping you with their bags is that one of them has a uh a very uh, expensive looking and uh polished pistol stuck in the waistband of his um of his uh belt or in the, in the belt of his uh uh at his waist and uh another one of the brothers has a uh, pocket watch in uh in his uh vest but they are wearing kind of grubby uh work clothes so these are very odd things and they look very uh yeah look very expensive and kind of out of place like they don't ha the brothers don't have anything else on them that uh, they have like a fancy pistol and a fa fancy watch basically yes 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 okay. yeah they yeah. look a bit out of place um for how how they're uh how they're dressed otherwise they don't have anything else wow yeah you saw everything ah. <laughs> nice okay yeah so as, as you make your way out so the brothers uh uh bring the baggage just kind of uh, heavily drop it on the uh, the front porch of the uh the residence and then uh, uh lead you uh lead you inside uh the front door um immediately you're uh, uh greeted by a maid and uh uh the uh um uh, one of the brothers just tells her or says uh, Laura uh, he, uh these gentlemen are here to see uh to see Zacharias and uh so she sh she uh, uh leaves to uh to go fetch their their younger brother and yeah let's... this is going faster than i expected okay. <laughs> <laughs> get right into it yeah <laughs> so the um the house itself has a kind of a strange uh smell uh th that's a bit different from the uh you know kind of the manufacturing the herring manufacturing uh outside um there's kind of a, a strange uh ocean smell like uh you know sea seaweed and brine or kind of a, a salty uh salty smell uh inside uh inside the residence uh, that's uh yeah very noticeable but um yes yeah, so zacharias hmm. appears so and uh and upon seeing him you you uh, recognize that that was the silhouette um silhouette that you saw let's let's close the brothers i think you can keep that those ugly faces in your head <laughs> so here <laughs> yeah so here, here's zacharias so so very dark haired uh so um uh yeah very handsome and, and dark haired uh his uh and, and appearing to be uh quite young uh much younger than his uh than the brothers uh let's see um do they seem like is there seem to be a likeness between them all like family similarities and they're uh, definitely between the godmother and the 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 uh, the two that brought you pete and pace yeah definitely have the same they even have the same uh you know way of speaking kind of a rough way of speaking um uh but uh yeah but zacharias uh uh is is dressed very dressed very well um and he uh oh everybody, wait, has, high, everybody has high cheekbones Yes, that's all right. You gotta. Where's his? Uh... Oh, okay. Um, shoot. I need 
I need the actual. Oh no, I can. Let me just do the PDF. Sorry, I don't have him. I missed a page when I was printing. Oh yeah, yeah, I did. Wow. Okay. Um, so yeah, so he appears to be uh, uh, in in his forties, uh, and his clothing is yeah very expensive. Like I said, very different from his brothers who just have kind of filthy work clothes on uh, that that need. Uh, Need a lot of mending, so he has thick, dark hair, very beautifully styled, uh, with you know pomade and uh, a wax mustache. Um, his eyes are dark, uh, with very little white showing. Uh, so it, he's uh, uh, yeah has very very uh, uh, deep uh, black eyes and very lar- very large eyes. Um, and immediately uh, as he appears, you notice the uh, the the kind of um, seaweed and and uh, uh sea smell uh that uh was filling the house is uh it, it, uh you on top of that is now this this uh kind of heavy aroma of uh perfume so he has uh, not only in his uh hair care and everything uh but he is also uh, very heavily perfumed and it's kind of a it's a strange kind of sickening combination the uh, uh yeah. the the salt the salty sea smell and this like heavy heavy perfume this is gentlemen gentlemen uh i i see that uh you you appear to be men of means uh what are you doing on our island well and i don't want to waste our time i'm looking to invest and quite ah. frankly it looks like you could use some infrastructure here ah uh, very good yes uh, uh as you see we have more business than we're able to uh you almost handle at the time our warehouse is quite a capacity uh perhaps we should uh uh dine together this evening and discuss uh what do you have in mind uh i i'm always looking uh looking for investors and uh partners in our uh in our operation here we uh have have been as you no doubt by our reputation which has brought you here you no doubt know that uh we're very successful in the the herring business and the Amundsen name is uh being well established as uh, traders of uh, both oil, oil and uh, and herring. Yes, yes, I would love to meet, but maybe, maybe we can make it earlier than dinner. I, I would say this island doesn't seem to suit me. I may want to seek a lodging somewhere else tonight. Uh, I see. Well, oh yes, yes, uh, of course. Well, if we're discussing business, uh, I, I would. Uh, uh very much uh, uh like it if you if you stayed in in our residence uh we have we have rooms we have extra rooms uh in which uh business guests uh, are allowed i i wouldn't uh i wouldn't uh, I'll even allow anyone such as yourself to stay at our inn that's a uh, uh that's more for the, uh, the the working class as as they say it's nice to find someone else cultured here thank you i would gracefully or Humbly accept your invitation. Uh, oh, very good. Uh, Nils, and I kind of do a gesture like I <laughs> instantly take care of bags and put them someplace. Uh, <laughs> take them back up again. <laughs> and uh, and he, he uh, calls for Laura, uh, the maid, and uh, uh, she... Uh, uh, yeah, so she, she uh, assists uh, uh, Nils with uh, the bags and, and shows you uh, to your guest room on the uh, the second floor. As a lifelong shopper for a rich guy, uh, do I recognize, is he wearing like, uh, actual, like quality Mm -hmm. perfume or is it? Yeah. The, um, uh, the perfume is, uh, is a little strange. Yeah. It's definitely, it would be expensive, but it's not very appropriate. Um, uh, it, it seems kind of, uh. Yeah, some, something a, a, an elderly woman might choose, or something. It's not a, uh, it's not appropriate to his style. So it doesn't seem like he uh, has has much of a sense okay. of, uh, and it's just it, it seems yeah he may just be using it for for practical <laughs> practical reasons because it's not uh, uh, it doesn't match. Yeah, it doesn't match what he would. So his clothes are very much in style, and the way that he uh, uh, the way that he styles himself uh, is very good. But this this perfume is a very odd. Uh, uh, you, you notice that right away. Gotcha. Make note of that as I carry the bags. 
Hmm. All right. So am I like going to my room too? Is he like, like, oh, great, we'll have dinner tonight, and that's the end of the. Oh yeah. So yeah, if you if you wish to uh, uh, retire as well, please uh, uh, have some rest after your journey, and uh, uh, later we can have some tea, and then uh, of course this evening dinner. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's nice to see someone around here. <laughs> has some respect. <laughs> nice. Oh. Yeah, and as you as you make your way um, to the guest room, uh, you, you can see the direction that that Nils has gone. Uh, you pass by uh, a few other rooms on the second floor. One of the rooms that's open uh, appears to be a study. Ooh. There's a desk and uh, yeah bookshelves, and then uh, uh, some other closed doors that are probably yeah other other bedrooms or guest rooms. And there's a smell pretty much everywhere. Yes, yeah the 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 smell and actually on the second floor it's gotten a bit it's gotten a bit worse. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> so unfortunately, yeah, it seems to uh, uh, seems to yeah have uh, have a little bit more uh, potency closer to the bedrooms. Later, I'll wander down to the kitchen, sir, and uh, try to get some oranges and clove to. Freshen up the air in here. <laughs> Few bushels, yes, uh, uh, yes. And so, yeah. So, uh, uh, Laura, Laura hears you. Uh, or hears hears you says, oh, I, I, "I apologize for the uh, the master's uh, aroma. I, 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 as much as hard as he tries, he 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 needs to cover it. But uh, he's always smelled weird. Uh, but please don't, please don't tell him I said that. And uh, yeah, Laura le- leaves you, <laughs> leaves you alone. Your secret is quite. Safe with me, young one. Um, yes, thank you, thank you very much. I'll, I'll, I'll give, uh, I'll do kind of like a, a winky face at her, like, how you doing? I'll give her a. Joy oh, me. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She. Yeah. She. She appreciates the uh, attention. Yeah. Uh, it. It doesn't seem like. Uh, uh, she seems yeah very excited uh, about visitors. So it doesn't seem like. Uh, uh, they. They have a lot. As soon as the door's closed, uh, and sit down on a chair. <laughs> <sighs> well, this priest has brought us to a truly dreadful place, sir. <laughs> I don't know if uh, <clears throat> I haven't seen anything yet other than this smell, but I mean, they're. What about those people at the inn? They were wretched. Now they're just island folk. <laughs> uh, n- we both know those weren't trolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after your experience with the uh, the trolls, yeah, you don't get any sense. Uh, you know, with your your kind of second sight, you don't get any sense uh, that anybody. Uh, uh, anybody in the in the, uh, the the dining room area, although there were quite a, a weird assortment of characters, no nobody was uh, uh, supernatural. There was no one had hidden or, tails or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were yeah, yeah. There were no tails or or, or horns or anything concealed well, in the dining so, room. Certainly. What what is his name again? The the uh, Zachariah. Yeah, Zachariah. Uh, the, yeah, Zacharias. Yeah, the, the the brother. Certainly, this Zacharias. There's something not right with that one. Obviously. Well, y- yes, but is it our kind of not right or just what do you typical think it's not right? med- medical problem? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to be giving you lips or it's been a long day. <laughs> Look, if I say we play this out tonight. See where dinner takes us, and then if things go well uh, or not, tonight we'll head out and take a look around the warehouse and surrounding areas and see if we find anything. Oh, yes, excellent. I'll unpack our skullduggery costumes. (laughs) Yes. Excellent. Thank you, Nils. (laughs) And uh, do you... Did you bring some wine? I remember. Yes, fine wine. 
I'm going to take out a handkerchief and oh, there why, you is go. That, why, why is that really the appropriate thing to mask <laughs> smells, but it's something anyways. And oh, careful, not that bottle, sir. About, yeah, yes, yes. The one, the, the, the big just jug with three X's on the side of it. Yes, don't, yeah. don't drink that. <laughs> <laughs> and just bl- just blot a a handkerchief and so i can smell something else besides the four la- layers of fish smell that we got going on here <laughs> and bad perfume <laughs> yeah uh, it's hard to even think it's so heavy <laughs> oh Nils- yeah, so you Nils- can- yeah. Nils will set about unpacking everything and okay. trying then, to find a way to freshen the air. Yeah, <laughs> right. so, yeah, there are there are windows that can be open, so if you want to uh, <laughs> want to mix those, that much better outside. <laughs> mix those and, smells. I don't know. And don't unpack too much. We may need to leave hastily. Mm, mm. Okay, well, just something for dinner. Yes, and the skullduggery if we go that route. Um. I know we fucked around a lot early, but uh-huh. do you think we might be in a decent pause spot? Oh, sure. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. That's fine. No, this is no, this is a good spot because uh, yeah, setting up for dinner because dinner might take you uh, yeah into something else. So yeah, this is good. Okay. We, yeah, we can take it. We can take a break here. Yeah, after dinner, yeah. it's just a John Wick movie for two hours, of just like <laughs> shooting people and diving over corners. What's happening? How did we get here? Endless waves of sailors attacking yeah. you. Sword fighting on decks of boats and stuff. Yeah. Right, oh, right. This makes no yes. sense. <laughs> yeah. So, so, uh, yeah. As you um, uh, just relax in your room, and uh, uh, the uh, uh, the maid uh, is uh. uh knocks at the door and uh, uh, asks you if you'd like to uh, come down for some tea or coffee. And uh, as you're, uh, as you're getting up to do that, you hear uh, just out- outside the residence. Um, so not, not too far from the residence between kind of the, uh, the residence and the inn, you recognize the, uh, the voice of uh, Oscar Udgren uh, preaching. And from the window, uh, <laughs> from the window of the residence, you can see that he's moved a barrel uh, kind of to the uh, the central area between the uh, uh, that that open area. Let's go back between the inn and the uh, uh, residence, and he is uh, uh, preaching against the uh, the evils of this island. Will someone not rid me of this metal? Some priest. <laughs>